What's up, everybody? Let's get ready and start the show. It's your boy, King Jobs here. You know we always have our content disclaimer there, so make sure when you come on, you like, share, and subscribe. Did I just say like? Let me reiterate that thing. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you like the video. One more time for the Holy Spirit, the ghost, the God. Like the video, share the video, subscribe. And make sure you support this channel. Everybody, listen, it's your boy King Jives here. Welcome back for another episode of the King Jives Show presents the Four Kings. Listen, and the Four Kings. Listen, I'm so glad you guys are on, on tonight. Listen, we got a great show, but and we have a special guest on tonight. Uh we we gonna have a special guest on tonight. Okay, praise God. Let's get ready to start the show. See y'all in a minute. <laughs> Listen, everyone, before the show gets started, I want to first let you know that you can always support the show via Cash App, Zelle, PayPal. All financial contributions are greatly appreciated, and we really do thank you so much. Now sit back and let's enjoy. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you mama now? What's going on? Hey, what, wait a minute, I see y'all. How you mama now? How you daddy them? Everybody, y'all good? Y'all good over there? Y'all good over there? What about y'all? Y'all good? You good? All right. Never mind. They late. They late. Hey, y'all. Hey. Listen, we got a special guest on today. Not only is Jay here. Jay seems to be, you know, Jay, Jay was an honest to it. Jay, Jay was just an honest to it. He just be on time. Kyrie is here too. Kyrie is honest. Kyrie, Kyrie, Jay and Kyrie is them students that they be on time for class. Rest of these Negroes, they just be like, hello, come on in the classroom. Listen, listen, we got a special guest on tonight. 
Darius. That's my friend Darius. He's also a friend of the show. He's a friend of Thais's show. He's also a friend of Kyrie's show. And I'm so happy to have him on tonight. Hey, y'all, what's going to TC? Girl, see you need. Uh, listen, Darius is a HIV and AIDS program, program manager in the Florida Department of Health in the Pinellas County in Florida. There, y'all, my, is my thing messing up? Jesus. Uh, Darius is also the host of Spill Talk Show each and every Wednesday on Power Plug Radio. Listen, King Jobs know a few people, okay? King Jobs know a few people. All right, let's, here, let's go and get this thing cracking. Uh, let me let me go and get my peoples on here first. There go Kyrie. Hey, Kyrie. Hey. Hey, what's up? There go Jay. <laughs> and I guess tonight, Darius. Hey, what's going on? Well, I know I'm hey, on. what's Hello. up, everybody? Hey, what's going on? Listen, let, let, me, just, on? let me do it. Let me do a, a very professional introduction. Darius, Kyrie, Kyrie, Darius. Darius, Hello, Darius. J. Marquel, hey, Kyrie. J. Marquel, Darius. Greetings. Hello, Jay. Everybody made it. Hello. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Listen, we got a good show on tonight. Um, you know, mother's not here with her little docket. I don't know where she is, you know. You know, oh, mother and speak. She just showed up. She showed up to Ooh. class. Ooh. I can't believe it. First of all, right. First, of all, for, first of all, who is this over here on this other uh, this other corner over here named Darius? You cannot be sick. See, Josh, why you tell me we was gonna have a guest today? Why you tell me, bitch? We done talked three times today. You ain't said nothing about Mr. Darius over here. This is called Peekaboo. I see you. That's what it's called. <laughs> Peekaboo, I see you. Okay, Here. well, Peekaboo, who is you? And do we work for the feds? Because if okay, let me let me introduce. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pipe that down, knees. I'm gonna need you to pipe that. All you on you on ten. You on ten. I'm gonna need you to be on he three. He came in on ten. Okay, you on ten. Needs to be on three. Hey, okay. Oh, London Dupree. Okay. I want you to be introduced to Darius. Darius, this is London. This is the little niece, little sus over here from the baby king. You know what I'm saying? Just spoiled and can't. Uh -huh. and what, Let me London, read his introduction to you. Let me read his introduction to you, Learn Dan. Darius Hold is on, talk, HIV. Talk again. I said, London, it is a pleasure to meet you. I am a fan. Okay. I thought that's what I thought that's what I heard. He got a lot of this off the wrong, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I live for it. I buy it. I buy it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Forget this daggone introduction. Forget. I'm sorry. That just, Lonnie, that just, that just, gonna... that just, just... <laughs> Let me go start. Oh, Lonnie, I got something for you. I got right. something for y'all. We got a special segment what? with our niece and sister, Look, looking London. London has a segment on today, okay, y'all. I just want y'all, okay. y'all clap y'all hands. We try to do some things over here, y'all. This is London's segment right here. Positive. Yay! <laughs> I like that. This is London's little segment. Yeah. This, this is segment right here. Politics yeah. on tonight, okay? Yeah. Listen, so get it, let's get Ooh. right on into it because y'all, we gonna end this show really good. Uh, we gonna get we gonna dig into sister sister carry on and, and mother That's, Kirk. Hey, okay, we gonna hey, we gonna we gonna hey, say that for say 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 that for the benediction, bitch. <laughs> we gotta get you. To, <laughs> Make sure you get your offering list. Oh, hey, and get all of y'all, let me tell y'all something. While we waiting on Thais to get here, listen to y'all something. Thanks, I really do appreciate. I appreciate everybody who supports the show. And y'all be sending them cash apps. Thank y'all so much. It keeps us rolling. Keeps yeah, us, you know, you. paying the yeah. bills around this piece. Yeah, thank you. Thank everybody you. up here. Everybody up here has a cash app, okay? Make sure y'all support everybody on here, okay? I really do greatly appreciate it. We're doing some great things. And 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 Big King over here, baby, I'm, I'm working on some greater things. I can't tell y'all niggas what I'm working on. But I'm working on some shit, okay? Praise God. Listen. Lenny, go ahead, roll out that that itinerary. Um, go ahead. Let's go get this itinerary. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the, welcome to King Jives presents the King. Okay, 
All right, let's go and get into this docket. First on the docket is Breonna Taylor's boyfriend charges were dropped. I mean, do you really think y'all was gonna really charge him with something? When they were trying. His house? They were trying. They had to take somebody. Had, somebody had to go sense, down. Buddy. Everybody was trying. Somebody had to go down. You know, like for real, like G, like G shit. They was trying, like, like dude, y'all, y'all, y'all doing. Y'all throwing calls and cannons and everything, and just poof, trying to get this boy arrested. I'm trying died. to understand how you going to arrest him. in his apartment. Right. Thank. And then my this my thing. He was licensed to carry, bro. Like y'all can't fuck with the niggas if they got their concealed weapons license. Hello. I'm licensed to carry, but they, they can't mess with you, boy. I'm telling them. them he them shouldn't have been charged for the first like Smart flight person. He shouldn't have been charged. They don't the like place. a smart nigga now. Like, bro, I'm telling Jay, listen. Today, bro, like white officers, you know, because we have police officers at my job. So, you know, bitch, I don't say shit. I look at them like, and keep it moving because I don't fuck with officers. That's just, I don't do that at all. <laughs> so, right, man, was like, oh, can I ask you a question? I was like, what you want? And I'm looking at him just like this. I'm like, uh, what you want, bro? He was like, you I know what? You are very. Nah, I ain't got. Nah, he was like, what I was at work. You feel me? Good, good morning. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good how morning. Are you? How are you? Thank you very much. I'm like, oh my God, you're so. Greetings. What kind Greetings. of. What kind of. What kind Greetings of coffee and salutations. Would you like? What kind of coffee would you like? What kind of coffee would you like? Would you like I got one for y'all. Would you like I'm light or dark? Mm. Hold on. Somebody asked me, am I married? Yes, I am married. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Where's Thais? Um, I don't a know. Wo a woman. Who married you? A woman asked me that. A woman. Oh, okay. Hey, she's trying to she trying to get me. I think you. her name is. She's trying to stretch you out. Now, because because it, because. Because this is a P, because we're trying to keep this a G show tonight, and I'm not trying to go in, we're going to stay there for the after party on Tice Jackson. Whenever, whenever our mother decides to get here. Mother said, uh. Jives, close your, Jives, close your mouth. Because what is you looking at? Right. Mm. Hello. I'm talking about that boy so stuck. Oh, Jazz, is he stuck? I'm talking about stuck. Like he's looking at something that got him stuck for real. <laughs> I think I think he's frozen. Oh no, yeah. We, nah, he oh, not. It. No, he's, he's not. not. He, he probably talking to Tay. I'm happy. No, he's not. But you know what, London? If I I have a question, can I ask a question? Go ahead. So mm -hmm. since they dropped the charges against Kenneth Walker. Do you think that Kenneth Walker might file a civil lawsuit or has he already filed a lawsuit against the city? If he has not yeah. filed one, he needs to because he's going to get superly paid. And why is it that we always settle? And I think, Jay, you said this last week to like black people. We always settle for money and not the actual like punishment. Like, I'm going to tell y'all this right here. Since you're talking about all this stuff, I'm going to th throw on this George Floyd. If this man... Get off. I promise y'all, if any of my white counterparts are on here, this is not directed at you, but it's at you. I promise y'all on everything I love, every black person that got good sense is going to be pissed the fuck off. All right, I'm back, y'all. I had to get off the Invernets because this hotel Inverness is horrible. What, what, wait a minute, you at the oh, yeah. you at the super eight? Hey, hold up, hell oh, no, yeah. boy, no, uh uh, you at what no, you doing at the super eight? I ain't nowhere near no super eight. He at the super eight, praise God. Wait, where is Thais? That white van oh. came and picked you up and took you to the super eight. I'm talking about <laughs> the white of brown, oh, Lord, not that white of that brown, brown man. man. I'm talking about right. white brown man. Right. Right. He's right. 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 he somewhere he's laid up with the bougie trade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about bougie trade. Wait a minute, he in the comments. Who oh, yeah. is? Thais said he watching, so I think Thais is on his way. Thais, Thais watching. Yes. Thais. 
Mm. Said he was on his way. He said his trade, his trade account, his trade was uh, ran over a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I understand. Oh, he watching. Okay, oh, you can't do nothing with, ma- with main trade. His, so his, his, trade his, his day ran over. You know, he paid for two hours. She had that trade over. Oh, 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 if Trey got hit, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the magic word, and the magic word is next. <laughs> next. 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 Hold on, I'm gonna sound like you know him rip. next. But you know what really be you know tripped me out by Trey though. <laughs> this is really what tricks me out. Who is calling me? That's the feds. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, somebody was calling from Milwaukee, bitch. All right, Donald Trump. Yeah. I'm calling you from my hometown. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. On this, on this right on the good left side, name Jay. Don't do that. Cause see, now you're trying to bark up the wrong tree. I'm gonna get you when we get off of here. Who calling? I don't worry about calling me from Milwaukee. I don't know. Oh, you got. Oh yeah, you, you got holes in different area codes. I forgot. I don't have holes in different area codes. I know holes oh. in different area codes, bitch. You got your, you got them four one four holes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got to take me to roof, Chris, bitch. If you want to call me a hoe, cause bitch, I'm gonna get all your money and all your pockets, bitch. I'm not well, no, there is no ho, roof, Chris, type, There is no roof, Chris, in Milwaukee. I mean, the most that you'll get is um the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why I'm not going to Milwaukee. I ain't nothing wrong with a good piece of cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Not the cheesecake factory. Well, what kind of cake you like? All kinds. For me, oh. I like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Barry. All right, Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> I like all, all kinds. I like, I like a good. Kinds? I like pound cakes. I like red velvet. I, get, I like carrot oh, cake. Jesus. Oh, I love said. a good. Okay, oh, Miss Sheila. Uh, hey. Yes, I love a good hit to see cake. Yes. Oh, I never been on. I just had some Hennessy we, we cupcakes for my up. birthday last week, and they were, they were everything. They were fabulous, darling. I see. They were everything. Making it easy for the clean no All right, Linda, what else you got? What else you got? Okay, next on the docket. Is the black boy gets bullied by white kids and made him drink their pee? What? That is what something that is brought to my attention. So, hold on, oh, no, you want me to repeat that? Did I repeat? Okay, yes, let me, please. Let me slow it down. Let me let me let me slow down a little bit. A black boy gets bullied by white kids and they made him drink his own pee. The article is in the chat. If Giles would bring that up, because I know I like that. See, that's what that's 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 hold on, that's wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's I'm the a, black I'm, boy you talking I'm, about? I'm, no, yeah, that, not that's that's that new school shit. One. That's that new school shit. Because old so school, is, we ain't gonna okay, bully so this, white this, kids. This, this, thank you. First of all, I'm fighting all them bitches. They gave me. They gonna, they gonna have. Thank you. You gonna have to fight for that win. You. Gonna, I'm fucking all y'all up. Every single one of them killed them, bitch. If. I would have told my mama that shit, man. Fuck me. But she could have the whole house. That's good. Well, no, but see, here's the it's thing. Here's here's my thing. I sent it to London because uh, yes. I blame his mama for it. Because he had been, he's been bullied at school for a whole year. So this boy well, had a, he, 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 he said he was having a sleepover. No, the that? other one, John. Who was that? The other one. That's that's later. That's later down the line. That's later down the line. That's later down the line. Who was that? Later down the line. Oh wait a minute, my bad. No, what? hold on. Oh, he, I'm he's sorry. He's I'm sorry guys. I did not send that to you. So I how mean, many boys was I'm it? So sorry. That, that how many boys was it? That how did they pressure huh? him into doing this? Okay, well he was well, he's been being bullied for a year at school. So, uh, one of the boys. White boy said he was having a sleepover, and I, he invited him, but it was just supposed to be him by himself. So 
he asked his mother, could this go? Now, here's why I blame the mother. Because he had been bullied, but his mother was saying that, and his aunt was saying they thought it would be a good idea for him to go because they're trying to bring peace amongst each other. You don't use your child for a scapegoat because you're trying to make good with the heart. So the, the mama, so the mama sent her child over there to this this person's house, knowing that this person. Now, wait a minute. You heard the best part yet? So wait a minute. So he got there Friday night. Everything was cool. So Saturday they went to uh, catch some bullfrogs by the pond. He invited. Three of his other friends, okay, two other that's, white boys, that's, that's, and a, and, a, all, and his Hispanic boy. Right can, can I get, can I get you to pause? Catch a bullfrog. Bullfrog. What city is this in? Did you say? Plano, Texas. There, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So okay, that explains. So when they got you, when they got you, so while they were catching bullfrogs, <laughs> the other boys, his the the, uh, the white boys' friends, like the two white boys and a Hispanic boy, they took their BB guns and started shooting the boy. And then, then they all go back home to the boy house, and that's when they start having a party. And it's a video. It's a video on Twitter, and they made him drink some piss, and they was uh, hitting, smacking him upside the head, and something else they did. But I, I blame his mom because you you took him there because you trying you trying to make peace. But see, that's our problem. We always want to make peace and forgive every other body but each other. Look, the and mama that's 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 Wait, hold on, hold on. Let us all applause and say, hey, Arch Mother. Okay. You <laughs> Thank you for I'm, I'm trying to, oh my God, hold on. <laughs> you know, we got refreshed. She done shaved. Hey, I'm so tight. Hey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, baby. Thais, you know Darius. Darius, you know Thais. We are hey, Thais. There's I was I was I was watching I was watching in the car. I heard everything. I heard everything that was said. I, I was watching in the car on my way home. Oh, oh, you where was you coming from? from? Okay, no, I was just I was just um with a family member. Um, and it, yeah, I was I heard everything y'all said. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The children uh -huh. thought you got they you thought you got cousin. beat up by the van. Somebody said you got beat up. Something was getting oh, beat up. Wait a minute, what happened? What's somebody saying? <laughs> I don't know about you getting beat up, but I heard something about a van. They I'm thought you had been, you know, a van had picked you up. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine, y'all. Seriously. No, I'm fine. A family member, a family member got the stimulus today and wanted to uh -huh. take me out on the town. <laughs> and I told her, I, I, I told oh, her, bitch, I said, bitch, give me two minutes to put my shoes on. <laughs> yeah, just two minutes. Just two minutes, I'll be ready. Okay. But I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so okay, so Thais, I posed the um, well, well, Thais, you know what we talking about, right? Ah, uh, y'all were talking about um. There you go. There, right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So Kyrie well, see, that's the problem right there. Why got this pink Nike, Nike? This pink my Nike mask on him. See, they, they turn these kids into some pussies. That's the problem. Not what the, well, I want to see the mother. What the mother look like? Is is wait a minute? Wait 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 wait. wait. Did you? I, I, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put a pin. I'm gonna come back to that. Anyway, I, I blame his mother. But like I said, because we always want to forgive. We always oh. want to forgive. Him. Yeah, that's the video. Oh my yeah. lord. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, we can't play. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. For a disclaimer, we are not gonna play this. We just showing y'all the picture because I. My my soul is up. My soul is angry. So oh no, oh no, I'd have burnt that whole house. What's how you go that fast? Ain't ain't no motherfucking ain't no way. So but like I said, but but his mama said because she wanted to make peace. She wants to make peace and have kumbaya. Everyone wants to make peace. They made peace. Let me go. Let me go. We always want to have a kumbaya moment. They made. A piece of piss. Let me go on land. A piece of piss. Let me go on land plane. Let me just go on land plane. Somebody land plane. Say the mama. Huh? Land the plane. Oh, I can't land the plane. To the mama. Oh, to the mama. Land the plane with the mama. Okay. I said, we all want to have a kumbaya mama because the mama, go let, yeah, the mama sent him there. And then, like I said, because she want to make peace with the people to show that we really are good people. Why don't you just, why don't you like us? Why don't you like him? He's a big kid, so she sent him there. But that's my whole point. Of saying. 
Oh, you got me drinking my. You got me smelling my cup now. See, the mama need her ass beat. They need to call children and families on her for putting her for putting her child in a situation. Well, the mama, well, the mama is calling for justice. She wants justice served. Uh -uh. They need you, you need to be a part of the justice because <laughs> yes. you should have exactly. sent your child over there. That's ridiculous. Ain't no peace, ain't no nothing. I'm whooping all the ass. Here go the thing I'm wondering about because did she even know the parents of the children? Okay, so her son has been has been bullied for a year in school. Did she know the kids? Did she know the parents? Because if you was like my mom and the, baby, we didn't go to everybody's house. Hello, especially if we didn't know you like that. Hello? I wouldn't allow unless you was family. I couldn't go. Couldn't go. I'm a. I was a '70s baby, and you know, and growing up in the '80s, we had so many things going on. The Atlanta child murders. You know, it was. It was a lot going on. So um, before you could even get it out your mouth, can I go and spend your money? Hell no. <laughs> go sit your ass down somewhere. You're not going nowhere. No, mama didn't play that. Mama didn't play sleepovers and mm -mm. Now, I going mean, over. If, if my mama knew the people, yeah. Like you said, if your mama knew the people, if my mama got to have this story right when I'm drinking apple juice. Oh. oh. I don't even want it no more. But the point is, mm. stop always wanting to have kumbaya moments with everybody else. We we are so quick to want to have a kumbaya moment with everybody. Now we stand in solidarity with the Asians, and I got a problem with that because the same people saying uh, some of the same people that said that I saw on their Facebook page where when the Asians was beating the women's asses at the at the uh, nail shop, they probably deserved it because they got bad attitudes. Now now we stand in solidarity. With them. Yeah. I mean, Black folks want to kumbaya. Come on now. Listen, I'm not everybody Lord, except, with, with everybody yeah. except each other. We won't do kumbaya with each other. But if it's a white boy, he done killed your grandmama while she at church praying for your dumb ass. Or, or this, uh, these white folks that made this boy drink the piss. Or the Asians who done uh, set up and beat up these women in the nail shop. We forgive you. Please love us. We're good people. Child. Oh, he just had a bad day. Ain't that what the officer said? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, this time, this time, this time, lady playing. Man, fuck you, my nigga. All right, okay. And this is <laughs> so. Let's see how I'm gonna do this here. Well, Thais, I have a surprise for you. Matthew Stevens in the house. Jai. <laughs> you said what? I said Matthew Stevens in here. He coming on? Girl, no, no. We got to keep, we got to So, Jives, would you present the commercial, please? Commercial? The who? Commercial. We got a commercial you know now. About. Pull, up the, pull up the thing that's yes, the commercial is the political of tonight. That's the commercial, but Jives just seems to be. Well, 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 hold on now. Hold on. We finna get Ooh, into you the me feel I'm retarded with all these people on this live now. We got to have some coordination or <laughs> something. Like, they talked about this already. Listen, you're going to be Shirley and get the boot. You know what I tell you? Uh -uh. I ain't going to get Ross around this bitch. I'm going to be Ike Tina and motherfucking shit. Thank you. Ike, do you like? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank uh -huh. you. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. No, it was nice. It was really nice. Okay. <laughs> it's very nice. All right. That's why I did a little tell you. Okay, so y'all, everybody got there, everybody getting their stimulus and want their stimulus and all that stuff. But I just want to know why not one Republican in no parts of Congress voted for the Democrats. Well, that that I can explain that. Um, a oh, I'm about you is the only independent Republican on the show. London, don't start that shit. Go ahead, J uh, mm. Justin. Go ahead, Jay. Keep going. Because mm. at this moment in time, why no Republican can stand with a Democrat president right now? They have mm. to look. They have to look like they're divided. You don't understand that. This is this this the division keeps everything flowing the way that they want it. Uh, if if Republicans don't keep everyone divided, they won't they won't ever get in, back in power. 
So at this point, like, for instance, I just got a text message stating that Donald Trump will not run again unless the Republicans take back the House and the Senate. Because and the only way for that to happen is to continuously keep the division. So to make it look like everyone is divided, they can't vote with a, a Democrat. They uh, hold on hey. one second. Y yes, ma'am. Hey, uh. So go ahead, Darius. Because see what my thought is, I'm gonna throw it back at him real quick. But go ahead, Darius. I mean, it's it's really sad because people don't uh, don't elect people to go to Washington D.C. or to their state houses to play these political games. We elect people that's supposed to serve the will of the people and not be playing these games with people's lives because, and the sad thing is many Republicans were in favor of mm -hmm. the stimulus. I'm not talking about the people on Capitol Hill, but I'm talking about everyday Tom. average yeah. people that they needed the stimulus just as bad as anybody else. And it didn't matter what your political affiliation was. So it's not, it's mm -hmm. not, it's not smart. It's not smart, but it also, and I hate to say it, it just shows you how stupid a lot of people really are. I beg to differ. I, I truly beg to differ. I believe it. What it is smart. I mean, it's a smart strategy for them in terms of what they're doing. I'm saying it's not smart. It's not smart for everyday average people to continually to to elect and reelect people to office, and you're paying you you pay these people's salaries. Your taxes pay their salaries. So mm -hmm. you send these people to to your state house and your in Congress to basically screw you. Because they're not working for your interest. They're working for their own. But, but see, that's the thing that we, we keep forgetting. A lot of people don't realize is, and what we don't realize is that a lot of people who you think, and see, that's where it goes into people. It goes back into if people would pay attention to their own and not pay attention to others, you'd be very shocked at how many of these country hillbilly uh, 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 ones who you think have no money are millionaires, and so these Republicans that they are electing are really working for their best interest. You might think that they're not, but they, in reality, they really are. Yeah, and I, and I get that because ultimately, what they want to do oh. is they want to they want to keep they want to keep themselves on top and everybody else on the bottom. Look what's happening right now. Since the election is over, you got all these in in, in several states across this country. You got these bills that are being introduced for uh, for voter suppression. Um, you know, pretty much in all the states in the South. I know right here in Florida, we right now in our state house, they trying to pass bills that will limit um voting, early voting, um, you know, all of that stuff to stuff to to disenfranchise black voters and people of color and so we we really have to yes we all need the stimulus but we got a lot more issues than just the stimulus that we really need to be paying attention to mm -hmm. so, see that so let me ask you let me ask this question mm -hmm. let me ask this question so i'm gonna go deeper than what Darius did but i'm gonna let Thais go first um Thais, to me oh okay going? um yeah. Um, you the only person named Tyrese, I know. Yeah. Um. So listen, Republicans are doing what they always do. Um. They're in a tricky position that they haven't been in, and probably a, a good while now. Um. You know, Democrats have the House, um, the Senate. You know, they're narrow margins, but um, they have the House and the Senate, and they have the executive branch. So. The only thing Republicans really can do is um, statewide, legislatively, um, legislatively um, put you know roadblocks and hindrances in people's way as far as um, the voting goes, you know, and blocking people access to the you know access to the ballot box. That's all they can do. They really have nothing tangible to offer. Um, y'all got to get up out of my inbox. Please, y'all. I, I, can y'all just please just give me a minute. Y'all in the inbox real heavy. Okay, so <laughs> what they have to do is what, what, what 
Republicans are going to have to do, and they're not going to do this, is they have to rebrand themselves and they have to ditch Trump. And they can't they can't do either one. He's with you. He's like a he's like an STD. He's with you and you have to roll with him. You can't get rid of him. If he's simple, he'll never leave you. A A large part of their base really loves this bum. You know, so they are just in a rock and hard place. So the only thing they can do is obstruct on the voting front and try to do it that way. Limit access so that what happened in 2020 never happens again. There won't be any, you know, um, turning Georgia from, you know, red to blue. That's the only thing they can do is fuck up the voting process now. They have nothing tangible to put on the table for people. Well, see, the problem that I have is, and, and I, I don't, and a lot of people, we 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 keep saying, well, the, to be honest with you, the Republicans, if 100% of the Democrats were 100% on the side of the people, as they say they are, it would not really matter about what the Republicans see. see. The problem is you have some of those who, a lot of those Democrats who are who who claim, oh, I'm a Democrat, but in reality they're putting roadblocks. Like for instance, um, a lot of people don't realize that the minimum wage being raised that was taken out of the bill because of Democrats. There were <laughs> Democrats who were against that, and so it's it's like. That's that's the reason it's, it's more at, 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 at this point it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter until 2022. It really doesn't matter because Democrats are basically running everything. And to the Republicans, we wish y'all well. Until we'll see what happens in 2022. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and take over the Titanic and try to get this motherfucker to the other side of the Atlantic. <laughs> well, all right. Let me land. Let me land this plane real quick. Um, so this is what I'm gonna say two things, Jay. Mm-hmm. I got you now. To me, in them red states like Kansas, Arkansas, all the most different red states and stuff, 54% of them people said they want the assembly check. That's because they burn. Ah, wait, 54% said they want they a wanted assembly check. 54 Republicans. When you talking about them, I said Republicans. That's in them rural areas. Said they need assemblies. So that let me furtherly know them people don't give a fuck if you this, you that third bitch. I need my money. I'm fucked. So I can't go nowhere. Corona done did this, this, that, and the third. Such and such. These are the Republican people now. These Republican people. So that's I right. Like this. This is going to come back and bite Republicans in their ass because Democrats going to say, ain't nobody in the party that you are affiliated with voted to help your ass out in a time when you need it. It's a fucking moat. Plan is la- plane has landed. Next case. All right. So, wait, somebody what said, wait, wait, wait. wait. If you want to before I get to the next step. Wait, somebody said, what are your thoughts on debt collectors being allowed to take stimulus checks to pay off personal debts? I ain't heard that. They are doing that, Jives. They are doing that. It's not as it's not as pervasive as people think it is, but they are doing it. Some banks are working in concert with debt collectors and yeah. and, and, and going and snatching not all but a percentage of your stimulus check. There are several, um, there are several senators working right now to try to get that, you know. You know, yeah. overturn. So that's, that's what I, said. I thought there was. I thought there was some legislation that that the House had taken up. I know. I think it was going to have to go to the Senate, where they were they they were going to pass some law to prohibit that because the stimulus. <laughs> I mean, if you owe the IRS, the IRS ain't even holding that from you because it's, it's, that, supposed, it's to be the stimulus. But, it's supposed mm-hmm. to stimulate the economy. But you know what, Darius? We need to let this be a warning to everybody. Rent a center, rent where y'all girls need to go and pay them people off. That's why they're snatching y'all goddamn check. You said race to somebody else. Nobody's coming to get that money. 
<laughs> Real estate, baby. They let your ass be late. They gonna be at the door the next day. <laughs> but who who's using real estate in twenty twenty one? Uh -huh. Who is using who is using Renaissance Center in 2021? Child, well, a, a lot of people. Renaissance really? Center is like Macy's in the hood. I'll be the first to tell them. <laughs> Renaissance Center is a ripoff. They yeah, they are. They are. Yes, they are. Them. They are ripoff. They are. I got a I got a stereo from them years ago. I'm still paying on that motherfucking stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Living single was on the air when I got that, st that damn stereo. Oh I'm still going down there paying $29.99 a week. <laughs> How about that stereo? Girl, that stereo, I done paid about a million dollars on that damn stereo. <laughs> That's still worth interest. interest. Does it work, Tony? Uh, it well, the interest, you know, the interest is like uh, 10,000 percent. But right. most people don't read that stuff. They just sign. Mm -hmm. You want exactly. to get your shit back to the house and set it up mm -hmm. and pay, you know, play Stacey Lattisol, bump some mm -hmm. seven meals and get you some wine and shit, you know. And have, have trade come over, listen to your new stereo. Yeah, have Kabuki trade come over, listen to Anita Baker, you know. Right. <laughs> Try and listen to Anita. Listen to Anita. Yeah. Well, Anita. Wait a minute. Anita told us, y'all, don't stream any of her music. She's trying to get her masters back. So don't listen, don't download, don't stream any Anita Baker music right now. Well, Anita, I'll tell you right now, if I'm in the mood, I'll be caught up in the rapture. Mm -hmm. Well, you better play, play uh, JoJo's version. Uh -uh. So, so I like am I, 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 so I like the Am I the only one to get in the mood and play hardcore rap music? Oh wow! Oh yeah, I like I like that kind of. I, I want some throw it back now. I want some trap music. I want something to go get going. Trap, trap, <laughs> trap music. Okay. Uh, mm. yeah. I mean, give me okay. Oh, that's y'all probably invite some hood boys over from the. Oh, yeah, oh, come on, come on! Ain't nothing wrong train, with a good yeah. old. Ain't nothing wrong with a good old DDT. <laughs> Kabuki Trey, he got a gunshot wound right here. He got one eye, you know. Now that oh, look at Trey, DDT, DDT is shooting up their baby mama's family. I have learned a lot about y'all. I don't know, not Girl. the ones I know. Because I ain't Girl. even gonna lie to y'all. Let me explain. Let me explain. Listen, let me explain what Kabuki trade is. Oh, Banji Kabuki trade. You know, a lot of girls in the, mm -hmm. a lot of girls in the comment right. section acting like they don't know what Kabuki trade is. Kabuki yeah, trade. Kabuki trade will fuck the shit out of you, and then clean <laughs> and then clean your whole house out. Okay. <laughs> While you at work. <laughs> While you at work, baby. You at work. You come home. <laughs> he will. He will. He will double <laughs> back to your house. He will double back to your house and clean you out, honey. Your house will look like it's for rent. <laughs> now, look here. Now, this is me being vulnerable. In my younger days, I did Kabuki Trade Store my PlayStation. So oh, my Lord. Yeah. See, I'm so mm -hmm. glad. I'm so glad my mm -hmm. mother taught me, baby. I never let Trey stay tonight, and I never let Trey go past the front room. Mm. Mm. Remind I should have gotten on that band. We there are some tips you couch. can do. There are some tips you can do. Put your money, put your wallet in the freezer, put it in the oven, in the microwave. You know, right. <laughs> there are tips. What? Put, put your about. money in the, you know, put your money in the ice cream. You know, <laughs> put it in the oven container. Put it in the oven container. Put it in the freezer. Right. Because that old bandy hood tray from across the track will clean you out. If you let him, yes, he will. Yes, he will. If now, I ain't gonna him. lie. I'm not gonna lie. He will dick you down. You will be cross-eyed. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. e Hallelujah. Thank yeah, you, you, might, you, might, you might tell him, take what you want. He ain't got nothing to lose. Take what you want. He ain't got nothing to lose. You be up in that. Yeah. Oh. What up? Who is that? I'm, just, I'm getting some feedback. Now, that's Jay. That's Jay Collins. That's Jay Collins. I was trying to keep you up. Who's trying y'all to listen to trap music? <laughs> that's why I was like, yeah. Ooh. That's Jay. Yeah. Listen, 
Trey will Thank put you. your legs. Thank Trey you. will put your legs behind mm. your head like the letter X, <laughs> and he will <laughs> leave you out. And he, and you know yes. what else he'll do too? It's, he'll make you call his name. Oh, he you don't know, have to lose. There's power he in the name. He's running from the law. He's on parole. He's on parole and probation. He has nothing to lose. What's my name? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's my name, baby? What's my name? I can talk. Uh, I'll be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't call their real name. I'll be like, I don't call their real name. I'll be like, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> They'll tell you that. What's my name? What's my name? I say restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? Oh, I can't call, I can't you call his name because when you call his name, you give him no. power over you. Uh uh-uh, uh, your parole officer. That's what I'm calling. That's the name I'm calling. April says she officer. had some low down, dirty trade. You know about, Still her black <laughs> <laughs> Get my black man. April, listen, April, li- listen, I understand. Mm. I so understand. Listen, we're still in the, We're still in politics. Or whatever, thanks to uh, London. So well, that I was political. I thought we were done. We, we, we move. We move around. Right I don't know how we got on Kabuki train, I mean, but we on. I don't know how we got on Kabuki train either. But <laughs> you better not tell you nobody. Know. You better not tell <laughs> nobody. But God, you almost <laughs> killed your mammy. <laughs> where, where, the hell Kabuki, where the hell Kabuki come from, though? What? What? Ooh. That's I think like it a- comes from. I think it comes from the Kabuki mask, just wild and crazy. But I'm gonna just say this: you better not tell nobody. But God, <laughs> you're gonna kill your mammy. <laughs> you're gonna kill your mom. <laughs> Me and Trey was talking about that earlier today. <laughs> no, Trey, we gonna say that later on in the show. They don't um, get it yet. They don't get it yet. We gonna say that yeah, for later. Yeah, like, oh. Our all right, just to let y'all know, it's this part of the show. It's offering time. Oh, we got it. Okay. Wait a minute. Before offering time, I want to do this real quick. Let's go ahead and do this a little short. What are we doing? <laughs> Can you imagine? Huh? Man. On vacation. Can you imagine? I Dang what are present boy. and future right now will be like right, right now godly leadership can advance our call can right. you imagine proof resources that will be provided to pastors congregations and our laity so he won can no. you the imagine us coming together our churches coming oh, together. Okay. Can you imagine all what we can do together? May the great consolator so be your guide as you remember Ooh. that there is nothing too hard oh, God. for God. This is Bishop. Said. Okay, Bishop. They serious you know. about this. Okay. Bishop Daniels you know is not playing. He is because not playing. playing. Because, because I'm a Kojic baby, when I tell you that just bless my life all the way around, oh my God, I hope this man get it. I pray to God he gets it. Well, I want Bishop but Sheer that's to get it. Oh, oh Lord. Why you oh, want Bishop Sheer, Kyrie? No, you did. Why Why you did they say they say they say the first first lady shield is not approachable. Who said that? Oh, and that's what the street committee say she's not approachable. I'm not, that, that was, that's not my. She is very her. much. She's approachable. She is. That's, 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 oh, okay. that's, that's not my experience with her. I will say now. All I know is clap your hands and praise him. No, Karen. No, thank you. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Oh, okay. No, no, ma'am. Not so tonight. Said, Maybe tomorrow. Not tonight. Thank who's the, who, who and friends. Who now call Denise. Let me tell y'all people tomorrow is March 20th. If you are a delegate in the Church of God in Christ, please make sure you vote Bishop 
Cedric Daniels for the general board, and make sure you vote him for presiding bishop. He is a proven leader with resources and a whole bunch of other stuff. I just I want the church to move forward. I really do. I y'all so tired of personalities and people getting in office because somebody liked him and can't on. We this church, we need to we need to take the church from a storefront to an actual interdenominational church. Did you fall, Jay, you fail? You all right? Are you killing a fly? What's going on? Huh? I was, no. I, Jay, was he killing a fly? What happened? No. Sorry. Something was bothering me on my screen. Oh. 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 Who you want to win, Jay? Who you want to win, Jay? Oh, you know, the, the Bishop Cedric Daniels, that's my pastor from back home. Oh, okay. I said who you want to win. I didn't know who your pastor was from back home. Yeah, he he's who I want to win. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't, I'm not coaching. I never, I never heard of him. Yes, 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 yes. I said Bishop Shear. I said Bishop Shear because that's key every day. From the from the Holy Redeemer, the Holy Redeemer Institutional Church of God in Christ. I want Karen. I want Karen to have a good. I want to shout out Kiera. Kiera's lost a lot of weight. I've seen her on camera and all. She lost a lot of weight. Congratulations, Kiki. Yeah. She look good. Mar married yeah. like her husband. Mm. That, that's that husband. Mm. Getting that good loving. That's that good loving, yes. He put that good trade on. He put train on her. Yeah, he put train on her. Yeah, you see, yeah do you, you, I, I watch I watch uh I watch their TikTok videos. I'm like, oh, okay, scared get that good loving. <laughs> Bitch. It's amazing when you get good exercise, you know. <laughs> It is, if you do it right, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Mm, I just all right. My pants. Mm. What? Look at the comment. She said, I'm still paying my credential reports under my old name prior to my transition. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I'm still paying my credential report under my old name. Oh, Karen. Karen. Karen tonight. <laughs> oh, baby, listen. Okay, April. <laughs> the Bible says. We not gonna do this tonight. No, no, we not, we not. no, ma'am, not tonight. We not doing this tonight. What did they accept? Did they accept her report? Did they accept they your accept report? report? I right, did. You did. did. <laughs> I don't care if her name is April now, and it used to be Tyrell, Tranquil, <laughs> uh, Michael, Robert, <laughs> Taylor, whatever. They take their report. Yeah, it's see nothing but green. I feel we love you, Prior to transition, so, they said they, so, still, they, they said it. they still send her cogent car every year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you in the number? <laughs> is, your, is your is your picture on your cogent car? <laughs> now that's gonna be the team. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all. If you want to whole picture is on our punch, they're going to take that money. Yeah, they're going to take the money. They don't care. Shit, see, that's the reason why, why, why we got the sermon that we got from, from your friend, King Jai. Who? Okay, okay, so let's pause right there. Let me just say this. Oh, I know girl. a lot of people don't like Earl Carter or whatever. But see, Earl mm -hmm. Carter, it wasn't he's better than me. It wasn't necessarily yeah. a bad sermon. He was actually preaching to the bishops uh -huh. because it, he was saying, like, y'all preach on the gays and the homeless and, and everything like that. But y'all sleeping with them too. Yeah, How true. you going to preach on them? And you sleeping with the ones in the choir and they fanning all over everything. You sleep with them. So what, so what, what you expect for them to do? But Wait a minute, Paul, pause. Jive. Jive. She says she's a she's a Kojic elder. Is. Is. Who? Is. All so, right, elder. So so we do have lady elders in the church of God in Christ. <laughs> But Earl uh, Carter says, I'm not going to do, no. do that with you. Uh, uh, damn, I'm not. I'm not going to play with you. <laughs> Jay. Wait a minute. Y'all still, still can't wear pants to the National Convention? Women can't wear pants to the National Convention? 
I told the Lord that we was not going to do it tonight. And we damn it did it. Let, let, me, let me finish. So, I don't know the way I can wear pants. Who y'all pay me for? <laughs> Damn it. I was trying to be nice tonight. I was not trying to go there. But y'all want to play a commercial and stuff. Oh, you got they falling out of the chair and shit. Like, yes, bro. We got people. We have Lady Elvis and Koji. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, not y'all. I want to Over here, not y'all. She said, oh, she said, I can preach with him and play the hammer. And play the hammer. All right, sis. Come on, Twinkie. Come on, Twinkie. Come on, Twinkie. Y'all stop Come on, Elder. April. Come on, Elder Jones. Come on, Elder April. Man, she said she can play the hammer. Come on, Twinkie. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing this with y'all. <laughs> I'm not what? doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all. She did I'm being it. so good. <laughs> <laughs> she made me want to go break out my Koji cat. Oh my god. Spread a wig at Thais. Spread a wig at I got to turn my um I got to turn my thing off. My people are in my inbox right now. This is I gotta turn this off. This is you too much. What? You, you know what? Wait, what I make my own fake wig. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are uh uh-uh. y'all not gonna worry me tonight, Ty Squad. Not Be tonight, dead, I promise bro. you. I'm gonna turn this off right now. Lord. What's wrong okay. with the, what's wrong with the Ty Squad? What's wrong? They are doing too much with his inbox to be messaging me and I'm ooh, trying to concentrate. Ooh. Oh, but a minute. Elder April said her B3 is in her living room. Hey! What is come on, give me the music again, guys. Come on! No. But if we finna have church, we're gonna play the organ. All right. <laughs> so, London, what what what's the next part we on? Yes. Okay. Are we so on? The, we we on the we on the Atlanta Massacre Nightclub. That's the next thing on the list. Yeah, The Atlanta nightclub. I thought it was a salon. Yeah. Like, a, the massage. A, the massage. A, the massage. A, yeah, a, a I'm massage. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, the massage, massage parlor. I'm sorry. I'm no, no. Cloud. My what well, 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 you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, uh, London. We don't call them massage parlors. It's politically incorrect to say parlor. We say massage spa because parlor implicates you know that there's something sexual going on. It's an antiquated word. So we say mm. we say spa mm. or day spa. Okay, um, let me say it again. I apologize for saying the wrong word. No, it was not a pol- it's not, um, it's not an apology. It's not an apology thing. That's what they say. I heard them say it on CNN. They said we can't call it parlor. You have to say massage spa. Even if they do parlor things. Listen, they they get they, they suck dick up there. They suck dick. <laughs> they suck dick. I was up there. I used to be at a massage spa. I used to work at a massage spa. <laughs> Y'all will suck a dick up there at that damn spa. Shit. I used to work up there. I used to work up there at that goddamn spa in Hollywood. It's not even good because oh he's not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. We can't do that now. We can't. We cannot make fun of the victims, y'all. Come on, come on, y'all. No, come on, come on, come on, Jay. Let's not. Let's not make fun of the victims. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's not make fun because that's somebody's mother. That's somebody's mother. Okay. Somebody's daughter. You know. Somebody's a happy. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you always do that, bro. You Woo! always take it back to, nah, y'all, we can't do this, y'all. We gotta be nice. No, we done, no, we done add these people out. Like. <laughs> God, me, bro. Because there are people, it's people that may be, it's people that may be watching, thinking that people are laughing at the people that died. Okay. No, we're not. This is always it's always a girl and it's always one girl that takes shit the wrong way. That's what I'm saying. You know, you're right. So let me let me just make this clear. So we're not um laughing at the victims. <laughs> Jay, don't mute your mic. 
We're not laughing at the victims. Oh my this God. We're just laughing at what Thais was saying about but working at the parlors and things. And so that's why we're laughing. <laughs> yeah, I, used to work up there. I used to work up there at the massage parlor. You know, I used to be at the massage parlor all the time. And I used to go down to the, um, I used to, huh? What'd you say? My position was He did a good job. Yes. <laughs> okay, can somebody can somebody let me in on the joke that he heard or <laughs> okay, can somebody let me in on Jay's joke? I didn't get the joke. Did the punchline come and I wasn't here? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. No. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, London, you actually what position that I work up at the massage spa, right? Okay, oh, yeah. the position that I work was taking people's man, husbands. Go, man. <laughs> That's the spot. I was, a, I was, I was, I was a, a assistant taking your husband and your boyfriend from you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how long, if I could ask, how long were you? Were, did you serve in that particular position? <laughs> I was there for about. I was there for about three years. <laughs> I was there for about Why three years, three and a half uh, years. Why is you angry? This shit on there. <laughs> oh man! Did they pay benefits? Okay, like, we gotta get this. They paid. They paid cash. They paid cash. Cash and carry. <laughs> they paid cash and tight carry. Did you hear me? They paid cash and I carried right out the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get it together, bro. Tae, I'm telling you, bro. You gotta warn me, bro. You gotta warn me, y'all. Okay. 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 I'm trying. <laughs> I got real tears over here. Thais is so stupid. All right. All the hearts and minds are clear about the massage parlor. Okay. Yes. I mean, sorry. Sorry. Cleared. Cleared. <laughs> Cleared. <laughs> this was, this was, this was, this was 20, this was 20 years ago. This was 20 years ago, London. You know, you know, 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> I got one more question. Were, were you the were you the only, were you the only um, person? Of, you have to realize. You have to realize. You have to realize the person you see talking to you. The person you see talking to you wasn't working. She was working. <laughs> right here. Yes. No, no. Yes. yes. <laughs> she was working. <laughs> Okay, she was working, not me. I was gonna ask, were you the only person of of uh, of African descent working? Yeah, you're the black person there. No, there were the plenty of people there. There were plenty of people there. Oh, oh. black people. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I wasn't the only person oh, working wow. there. Tae. You are on punishment, dog. No. Oh, you are on punishment. You got my fucking stomach hurting, man. Like, for real. I swear to God. <laughs> Go ahead. Move on with the docket. Move on with the docket, y'all. Move on with the docket. <laughs> Move on with the docket. I'm trying. I just keep thinking about that picture and how fast <laughs> I see. Can we send a picture one more time? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it from the top. Take it from the top, y'all. Take it from the top. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. What the fuck? Okay. Land the plane, London. Kyrie. Land the plane, honey, because look, Kyrie. girl, it's Friday night. It's Friday night, and stimmies have been dropping. <laughs> okay. I'm oh, mad. Kyrie, I got mine. Kyrie, Kyrie. Yes. Kyrie, how you feel about the? I mean, how you feel about the, about the Atlanta, uh, 
fast shooting? Like, how you feel about it? You know why? Because, because like, listen, 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 listen. Because, because it was because it was so trivialized, and people made you know made light of it. Kind of. Let's move on to the next topic. Because we can't, you can't get serious with it now when it was okay. just blown into a smithereens. Move on <laughs> to the next topic, <laughs> Landon. I get Okay. Yeah, so you can't next- you can't get serious after it was just blown into smithereens. <laughs> okay. What's next? Next on the next on the docket is the Kendrick um confession. Um, that's the last thing I sent you, guys. That's the that's about maybe I want to say about five six years ago. When, they, when the boy got killed, found in the Kent Fountain in the um in the mat in in the high school. And oh, know that was down there in Georgia. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that Albany, Georgia? Wait, 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 wait. So somebody now, or was it Thomasville, Georgia? Somebody has a confession. I think it was Thomasville. But, somebody confessed to um, it. Somebody has a confession. No. Yeah, that's what they said about this situation. What happened to him? Oh, I always thought that boy was killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always thought that too. I mean, if it I'm gonna pull this picture up for you. Kendrick Johnson. Valdo. Oh, Val 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 that was the boy who was rolled up in the carpet. In the mat, yeah. Right. And stuck the new face. And they just rolled himself up in the mat. Like Which was crazy. He There's no, they, there they was no he rolled possible. himself up in man. He rolled up and on, he, he, he stuffed himself a new paper. He cut out all his organs and stuffed himself a new paper. He did not. Exactly. Okay, exactly. I'm having internet issues. So my here. thing is, I think my thing is, I want to know who I can say. Because wasn't the, the local like, sheriff at the time, now? wasn't his son a suspect? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the son the son was a suspect and it kind of got swiped under the rug because it was a, a family affair down at the sheriff's department. Mm-hmm. So that's why it, it kind of like it went away and nothing was done about it. And then when he got to the funeral home, when Kendrick got to the funeral home, all of his um, organs were missing. So it's just a real it's a real spooky, mysterious case. Yeah. Um. Anybody else got to say anything else to say about that? Well, I do think there needs to be justice. I mean, this young man's family has suffered I agree. For, for many, many years, and it was the whole incident was swept up under the rug. It gained a lot of national attention, but I think because of the players involved and the influence that some of these folks had, that there was no real justice done. In this situation, so I hope if there is a confession, I do hope that it that you know that it's sincere, and that this young man's family can probably can finally get justice and some peace for what happened to their child. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, it just it's too many. Yeah, totally agree. Um, too ahead, many Jay. unanswered. It's too many unanswered questions. Um, I just feel like it. It was. It was one of them. Matt, you don't need Matlock to, to figure out that somebody's covering something up. I mean, how can you just roll yourself up in a mat after you've been murdered? I, I just, it was. And my it was, organs was missing. Well, his organs weren't missing until he made it to the funeral home. So that means they took his <laughs> organs, they took his organs before they released the body. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I think the mother, the family never gave consent uh-huh. for that. It's too many unanswered mm. questions, and I, it just it's it's really it's it's awful. It, it goes back into this African American thing. Just people think that just because we black, we can be done any old kind of way, and this is one of those. Because had this boy had been white, there wouldn't have been no questions. There, Hello, there would and his organs wouldn't have been missing. Come on here. His organs wouldn't have been missing. There wouldn't be no issues. They would have found out who did it when. But because this was a young a young African American boy, and you know we're expendable. Um, and people think you know they treat us as we're you know, and to be honest with you, we act like we're expendable, um, sometimes. Um, but you know, because they believe that we're expendable, you know, they treat they treat us any old type of way. And this is one of those situations where we're treated badly and that the family was treated awfully. 
Um, and I, I really do feel really bad for his family. And I, you know, my prayers are with him, their whole family. And I hope that they're able to get some type of justice because this has been what year did this happen? This, this is like uh, I know it's like five, six years ago. Yeah. It's like five or six years. Mm -hmm. yeah, Maybe years longer. Ago. Maybe longer. This is all probably even longer than that. So to be honest with you, this is gonna be a cold case that they're probably not. I mean, unless somebody just can't live with it and just gotta tell, but I mean they really have no evidence to to really because all the evidence has been destroyed. And unless somebody actually just admits to doing it, this is gonna be a case where no is gonna be it's gonna be out there and it's gonna and it's gonna be speculation. This happened in 2013. Yeah, it's just gonna yeah. be spec this like is gonna I be said, a five six years ago. For the, next, for, the rest of, for the rest of our lives, it's gonna be a steady. All right, so for all you sports fans out here, mm -hmm. I don't know if your bubble, but ESPN has reported that Deshaun Watson, the quarterback for the Houston Texans, has been accused of sexually assaulting a massage person. He did what? That's you know what? This this That's, is one of those have African the American situations. Again, um, if people, I don't know if y'all sports fans. I'm a big football fan. Um, is that too. the one dude, uh, London? That's the one that I sent you. Yes, yes, sir. Ben Roethlisberger has been accused of rape on numerous occasions, and they have done absolutely nothing. But because this is Pittsburgh Steelers' golden boy and he is white, he has gotten away with it for years. For years. And everyone knows mm -hmm. that, that for years. And so now all of a sudden it's Deshaun Watson and they're blowing this out of the water. No, come on now. Three times. Exactly. He's been accused. Ben Roethlisberger has been accused of rape three times in – and it's just and it 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 gets swept under the rug and because this is an African American quarterback, they, now that's, that's just no, I watch that right there. It, it, this is such a big issue. So now, when did it, when did this alleged right, happen? That's what I was about to say. Now wait a minute. I don't what believe is alleged alleged. Allegedly, this happened. It had to happen last week because they're talking about it this week. But now it's not one woman; it's two that has came forward and said that they have. He has sexually. Assaulted. Actually, the article I'm reading right now says it's seven women. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, when I when I when I when I covered it when I covered it on my show a few days ago, it was four, and um, it was four, and the. I read the statement from the young woman. I read the statement from the young woman, and you, you know, you try to be, you try to be your best to be, you know, objective when it comes to stuff like this, especially in the era of Me Too and Times Up. But I think people should be allowed to say, you know, this is a little off here. Something's a little off. The young woman said that she was um, just beginning. It was her first day at the uh, at the. Um, sports pain management place you know um basically they give you you know if you got a a, a pull of muscle or a hamstring or anything they, they work with you there so she said it was her first day her mother dropped her off and um she said deshaun told her could she pay close attention to his inner thighs and his glutes okay his inner thighs mm -hmm. and his glutes and she did what he asked. And then she said she came back around, she came down and to the middle of the table and he asked her to um asked her to come down. And she said she came Tidy. down at Tidy. huh? Keep her. She came. She Listen. Came down. She came down and she said that down. he told her he told her to suck it, and she said, I, "She said out of fear, job." She said that she just did what he said. <laughs> a lot of people are like, like you know, we want to rock with you, we want to help you, sis. But most people, if somebody say like, 
if you at your job and somebody say suck my dick, most people would do a beeline to the door and go out and tell their supervisor. We don't know many people that just go ahead and do it. So that's why people the ones that want to do it. You know, that's why people are like, well, girl, you didn't just walk away and go talk to your supervisor. She said she sucked him up. He nutted and everything. Look, girl, look, it's 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 a little off to me. To me. But you can't even say now when you say the story's a little off. People say you're not you're not an advocate for the victim. So it's kind of hard to even discuss these topics nowadays. You can't even say the shit don't pass the smell test. Mm-hmm. I, 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 unfortunately, bottom line, she sucked and she ate him up. <laughs> I mean, she did he physically? <laughs> I mean, did he physically force her? Did he grab her or physically? She said. Force her she said it was. She she said it was fear and intimidation. So he never touched her. No, she so he mean, told he, her to suck. He, never he basically her. told her to suck it, put it in your mouth, and she did it. So I like to me, she mm. just well, I ain't gonna say that. You can't even say anything now because if you say don't do that, if, you, don't you, you, do it. if you say anything, like people will take it like, okay, well, you're not riding with the victims. Girl, listen, if somebody tell you to put their dick in your mouth, <laughs> common sense will tell you to go talk to your supervisor. Or the owner of the business. Unless she it's really want to do it's it. It's a man in here trying to put this big 12-inch dick in my mouth. <laughs> Can I take my break now? <laughs> you come on. I guess he'll come out. Help, help, help. Come on, come on, come on. Is he the one that they tell me? What'd you say, Kyrie? <laughs> this is the dude y'all talking about right here that jazz got up here. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, uh huh. Uh-huh. Okay. He plays for the Houston Texans, and he's very uh-huh. popular. You know, yeah. signed a nice uh-huh. deal, got a nice little chunk of change. But uh-huh. listen, okay. listen, honey. Well, it, women. Okay. So and now he, all of a sudden, it's seven women. Well, <clears throat> well, just like with Ti, just yeah, like with Ti and Tiny. Once one or two people come out, people just come out the woodworks, you know. And, it, and it's gonna probably be some more. Look at Governor Cuomo. Yeah. Well, well, this, but this hey. man right here, yeah, he, he can touch me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, okay. It's, I ain't got the phone. I was just, I was waiting on it. It was, I it's was a gonna... welcome touch. <laughs> <laughs> I consent. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> oh my god. I got one right. for y'all. I got Ooh, offering time. It's offering time. Oh, Hallelujah. it is offering time. Y'all got offerings? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's offering time. It's offering time. Ooh. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy and blank. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> so Jesus told his bride. Then he said to the man, husbands, love your wives as I love my wife. That's what he said. How does Christ show love to, to the church? He cleanses her with the washing of the water by the word. And he takes away every spot and wrinkle and blemish. And that's in verses 25 and 28, amen, of Ephesians 5, just as Adam was supposed to have done for his Eve, amen, but he didn't do that. Does everybody understand what I'm trying to say, amen, the concepts? Christ's sacrificial work on the cross redeemed the power of influence in a beautiful example of God's love and purposes. So when it's time for Christ to die on the cross, he knew he was about to be in his room. That way. <laughs> so she's actually being murdered. Are you serious? Ooh, the 
church people. That's the church, but that's not the church people. <laughs> that's the church. <laughs> and why I got to load up now? That's that damn boy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if y'all want to watch this video, because I'm not going to listen. Maybe the Lord trying to tell us just to move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Listen. But that's, that's, that's what I said on Jazz. That's what I said on your page earlier. It's, it's hackers. It's hacking into these Zoom conferences. Now, when people be work, um, they work calls, even in the school with the kids. They're hacking in and doing this. It wasn't, it wasn't his church members. There was some hackers. Yeah, it, it happened at my school. We were hey, come on, having, do all that. We actually had our all. They they pretty much take over the whole Zoom call. Yeah, and they and all of a sudden a porno will pop up. We were yeah. actually, we were having a school meeting, and um, an all school meeting, and then all of a sudden, you just saw a big old thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it would and and all of a sudden it just went black and. and, and <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm gonna try this again and say it's offering time. Hallelujah. All right. It's offering time, people. So let me go. Let me go put the without the porn. Without the porn. Man, okay. did y'all man did y'all see that man's face, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> but she but she's not like but that's not like that fake porn uh mo uh screaming, whatever. Bro. I girl, he ain't doing all that. I'm talking about man. All that. Everybody said, beard, "Why did he do man, this man beard is everything." <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start it. We use Arkansas teams. We're gonna do this quick commercial. We'll come back and uh, London. Are we going to <laughs> Kurt? We're going to the benediction. Kurt, let's Kurt. Kurt, I, I say the best for last. Listen, everyone, before the show gets started, I want to first let you know that you can always support the show via Cash App, Zelle, PayPal. All financial contributions are greatly appreciated, and we really do thank you so much. Now sit back, and let's enjoy. All so listen, right. make sure y'all support everybody. Listen, go ahead, London. Go ahead, take it from the top. So support everybody. For all y'all people. That are in the front of church, I need y'all to move to the back. And a lot of people in the back of the church come to the front. For all you ignorant parents out there, you need to come to the front of the church. All right. Everybody knows that Karen, uh, Karen Franklin did a recording of his father cussing him slap the fuck out. Okay. Um, I watched the YouTube video of the mama on the interview. That was a little off for me. <clears throat> that was a little off for me. And I decided to say this this for last because I know everybody on this panel has an opinion about this. So I'm going to start with Mr. Darius. You can start off, 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 off sir. I'm, okay, I, I did not see the video that you just referenced, but the situation is... It's it's just really sad. It's it's sad to see a father and son um be in this kind of situation. It's it's doubly sad that the son chose to publicly air this. And I think it I think he did this, he weaponized a private conversation. Mm -hmm. and he only he only put out portions of the conversation that made his father look a certain way. Mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. put that out into the airway so I feel a couple of different ways about that one that I and I'm trying to be fair here because I don't know I don't know all the history you know that has occurred but I just have a real problem with the way that this young man has um chosen to address this situation and because and I, I'm just even on the practical side um from what I have, you know, read and seen online, that Kirk supports him financially, oh, and yeah. so to me, just on, on the common sense tip, why why would I hurt the one person who is supporting me? You know, but um, but I think there's an issue. Obviously, with, there's some feelings of maybe that he, 
I think he feels entitled to a certain extent. I think he, he feels maybe that his younger siblings um, are, are getting some things that maybe he didn't get. Um, it's just a re- it's a really sad situation. I you know I kind of agree because I want to go a little ratchet. I feel you know I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like he's a little punk ass. Everything that Kirk called him, I feel like he is that. And I and I stand by Kirk. Um, you know we we're, we're all black men on here. I'm sure all of us don't probably been cussed out at one time. We probably all I, I can speak for me. I know I was probably abused hell, but um. But I, I just I just find it very problematic what this young man has done and how he chose to handle it. But I, what I do like about Kirk, Kirk has taken control of the narrative of this situation. Uh, that a lot of people felt like he shouldn't have apologized, and I don't think he should have apologized either. But I think what Kirk did realize was, okay, this could affect my money and my brand, which ultimately affects my money. So he got out there. He got in front of the situation. I saw him on Tamron Hall the other day, him and his wife. Um, now we got these allegations that, that allegedly he molested the son. I just don't know what to make of the situation, but it's just very toxic. And I and um, I don't know what kind of relationship they could possibly have going forward. Before I go in, uh, because I, I, there, there's two things playing right now. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead because just like I'm gonna speak, just like I spoke on dumbass wanting to buy them, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead because my third eye is always working and goddamn, I'm always watching the fuck what's going on. And uh, y'all go ahead, Kyrie. <clears throat> well, um, I'll say hurt people, hurt people. This young man has been hurting. Everybody, a lot of people that I've seen have come down on him, like Kirk's friends, his best friend, John, whatever his name is, and Lexi, the gospel singer. John Gray said something. Mm-hmm. No, 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 not John Gray. John, what's his name? Oh, Raymond. Girl, I was about to say John Gray. No, 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 no. So, and they all been coming at this young Die. man. Don't do that. And, and uh, you know, and David Manjur, they said, well, this has been going on for 15 years. Now, I don't know if Kirk, if it's true or not that Kirk touched him, but it's something that's been bothering him because the person, he's reacting. This is a reaction. And what people, because people keep saying that he's grown, he's grown, he's grown. Number one, I don't give a fuck how old a man he is. Every man wants a relationship with his father. People, you know, you got these hard niggas or whatever, say, I don't need my daddy. Okay, you don't need him, but you want one, but you want a relationship with him. One. Two. It's 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 trauma. I my problem with it, I only I only had a problem with Kirk calling him a bitch because I my father my father was a street nigga through one hundred percent to the bone and he always instilled in me that that's the most disrespectful thing you can say to a man if you call a man a bitch that means you don't respect him so and and I've lived by that so whenever I cut somebody out everybody know bitch is my favorite word if I call you a bitch whatever type of bitch I call you it means I don't respect you because I do even though. People say I'm nice, it is, but if you tip my lever scale too far to the left, I become the most disrespectful bitch on the planet. And I'm going to disrespect you to the T. And that's a curse. And to me, it's certain things you don't do to people that you say you love. You don't disrespect people like that. That is disrespectful. That. Um, like I said, again, I just I hate the way everybody's coming at this young man because he's hurting. It's it's some it's some serious trauma there. And he's hurting. I wish he would get some help. Is it there? I told him that. I will, you know, really seek some therapy off on your own, away from your father. Now, uh, Darius said he heard that he's Kirk, Kirk supporting him. The only time I've heard that was from people in the comments who assume that because that's his daddy. But from my understanding, the young man lives in Los Angeles, away from he don't even know where Kirk lives. He lives in Los Angeles, and he's making his own way. He has his own business, so I can't say that Kirk is supporting him or not. But yeah. But I'm t- I'm team carry on. If it yeah, so there. I said I'd say I'm team carry on. Jay. Um first of all, uh do for this this man that the, the first thing is this this is a grown man. Um we we're not talking about someone that's 10 years old. Um or 15 or even 20. This man is 30 something years old. 
32. And I'm 32 years old. And um, first of all, there's a couple things that I've learned um, growing up. You don't air your house, your dirty laundry in the street. Mm -hmm. um, no matter what. Uh, like I said on Facebook, I have seen people in the church beat the hell out their kids in the basement. I have seen it is no is none of our business what is going on in that household or what has happened in that household. So I think that it is it it was unbecoming, it was rude, it was also um very 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 um it was not it it was it was a, an attempt to try to tarnish the name of your father um and the thing is this man has raised Kirion. um you know from what i understand and from what i you know you it's been good for the, you know, it's been good up until, you know, yeah, they have gone to, from what I understand, they've gone to counseling, they've had issues, but who does not? And it's up to your family to, you know, deal with that. If you can't deal with it, you know, then some people, you know, you just got to let some people go. Let them go. If, you know, if it's too bad that the fire, you just let them go. You know, if it, the sun, if it's this bad that you can't, you know, deal with it, let each other go. <clears throat> Here seems, this seems upsetting. I'm just going to call it spade a spade. It sounds like he didn't get something that he wanted. And this sounds like a spoiled brat released this footage, you know. To try to hurt his father because he didn't get something that he wanted. Or there's so much more to this that we just don't know. Yes, he he might be hurt. He might be, you know, whatever case may be. But then there's other ways to deal with it. But, you know, his sister has put out a tweet. You know, there's other people who are involved. And it just sounds like it's so selfish on end to to put this this recording out there that's gonna the the sister it could hurt the mother it could hurt so it seems that you care nothing about nobody else but what you want it just seems selfish on his end so I just I don't like the way this went down I don't like the way it, it played out I don't like the way it it just it, and it's played out for the whole world to watch. And, and to be honest with you, it's played out to church folks because now it's, oh, look at these holy rollers and yada, 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 yada. And it, it, it you know, you, you, you have now, not only have you put, you're putting the black church now on a spectacle because his father is a music mogul in the church and, and for the world, but you, you're putting, it just, it just, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Now, I do believe there is something 100% deeper that has happened that we all don't know about. Um, you know, it may be that, you know, Kurt did come out and say that he was a sex, a sex addict. So, you know, it might be, it might have been something that's happened in the, in the past. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I can't speak. I can't say that, but, um, well, hmm? I'm going to let you finish. It just so like I said, I I don't. It, it does. It sounds like it's much more to the to the story than um, than what we 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 spoke about or we know about. I do believe Kurt has tried to bury the hatchet and try to get things together. From what I understand, they did go to counseling and it got physical in counseling. From what I understand, and Kurt put his hands on him, but. I, I just I believe that and a lot of people are saying abuse and abuse and abuse, but you you you're grown. You're allowing yourself to be abused if you're staying around in a situation and you're constantly doing this. And so, you know, it's just 
it's just it's just it's too it's too much to this. You know, you you're allowing yourself to be subjected to something. <clears throat> My father abused me. I, I wouldn't want anything to do with him. You know, okay, can I say can I say something, Megan McCain? Right. Real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. Megan. So, like I said, it's his father. Every man wants a relationship with his father, and it hurt people. Hurt people. I mean, it is what it is. What it is. I don't think he's staying there, but like he's not just staying there. He don't even know where these people live now. That's how bad it's gotten. Right. He lives. He lives in a whole different state than Kirk. But but what we one would we give a fuck if it was Kirk Franklin, the blue collar worker? No, but because it's Kirk Franklin, the gospel singing, everybody cares. Mm -hmm. Now, not that one has anything to do with the other, but just to show that Kirk to me is a man that ain't about shit. When Kirk Franklin had Kirk Franklin and the family, Kirk Franklin got that money and left the family living in the projects to fend for themselves. So Kirk Franklin, I already know Kirk Franklin ain't shit, but that's my opinion. And I, I, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I mean, no one. Arch perfect. mother. No, but but see, everybody keeps saying no one is perfect. No, no one is perfect, and and I think we throw around the word mistake so loosely. It's a mistake. No, mm -hmm. a mistake means some idea, but I didn't. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but if I can do something repeatedly, that's not a mistake. That's a decision. If you. It's just I have so Arch many doubts. Really, about your I mean, well, go ahead, Jay. So. Yeah, but, but you have doubts because it, is it because it's Kurt Franklin, the, the, the gospel. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with the gospel side about it. It's just it has to do with the fact that a you you're 33 years old. You decide to release a conversation that what is age? Everybody keeps saying. Everybody keeps saying he's 33. Let me tell you, if you are a grown man and you've never dealt with your childhood trauma, it comes with you into adulthood until you deal with it. And I don't give a damn, he's 33, 43, 53. It's not going it, to, until he deals with it. If you don't it, deal with your problems, yeah. they're going to keep coming back up over and over again. Yeah. Thais, go ahead, Thais, Thais, But to me, Thais. to me, it sounds like Kirk ain't, to me, it sounds like Kirk got anger issues. That's what Everybody sounds like got some issues up in that family. Yeah, Kirk got anger issues. If you put your hand on, you know, because like he said, the way Kirk was going off of him, I yeah, Kirk got a temper. But go ahead, Tice. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so All right, mother, go ahead. It, it's, it's, okay, what's the order? Is me, London, Jazz? Yeah. Is that it's you, then okay. Jazz? Okay, J well, London, can you go? Then I go before Jazz. Cause I want to hear your point of view, London. I really do. <laughs> okay, so mine is my mine is um this is my point of view. I can Take relate the top. to where I can relate to I can relate to carry on, but then I can also relate to Kurt. So you everybody probably don't know I know the main Kyrie no Kyrie and I know Kyrie, Jack and Thais know that me and my father do not get along. Like do not. Um, my dad can call my phone right now. This is gonna be short and sweet and to the point because me and him do not get along. So the part about Kurt apologizing, I'm not mad about because I would not apologize for what I say to a grown man that I'm allegedly taking care of and I'm allegedly doing something, doing stuff for you, and you're grown, which means by law you are supposed to take care of yourself if you are equipped to take care of yourself when you get to a certain age when you get to a certain age so for Kurt apologizing on how he was talking to Darion I mean carry on I'm not upset now am I upset at carry on for basically putting this on social media to have everybody in a business yes some things should be left in the house is what my grandma said some stuff you don't bring outside these four walls that we call a home so on that regard, I'm upset with Carry On. But my thing is with Kurt, you basically keep saying that I'm here to help him, I'm here to help him, but in the tone that you were talking to him, you're not really here to help your son. You really can't stand your son. Mm. So to me, you plan to catch 22 because now everybody see what kind of person you are towards one of your kids. So now you gotta now you gotta smooth this out because this don't look for you as far as your image. It doesn't look good for you right now. 
Because now everybody know that you you an angry person. You an angry black man that's a pastor who likes to cuss people out. Now, as far as the mama doing an interview on a radio show, mm, something sketchy about that because it's like... But she, but she was saying we, 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 Yeah, it's like we never even knew who you were until now. We didn't even know nothing about you until now. Like when he got married to his second wife, Tammy, we all know. The only thing I know is about Tammy. I didn't even know that he had other kids. I, no, I knew that. I knew Carrie. I didn't know. Tammy. I didn't know that. I did not know that. So for me to find that you got a whole other kid out here that's 33, mm, nigga, what you was doing? He was fucking. 30. What you was doing? Yeah. He was fucking. I, mean, I know he was fucking, but I'm, I, mean, I know he was fucking, <laughs> but damn, like, you know. But I he was, but he was, Kurt, he wasn't Kurt Franklin as singer. He wasn't Kurt Franklin. He wasn't Kurt Franklin, Franklin in. He was Kurt Franklin the church musician. So it's like, I think for me, I would not have. I if I was Kurt, I wouldn't apologize <laughs> because you don't. You either you don't disrespect me. Now this is the issue that I have, my Kyrie. Don't take this the wrong way from what I'm about to say. Because me, and my father does not have a relationship, and I do not respect him as a father. He's not going to get that respect from me because I don't respect him like that. So if he come at me in a disrespectful manner, because I look at you like a nigga, you and a nigga in the street to me, that's how I'm going to treat you. You got to show respect to get respect. And if I don't respect you like that, then whatever comes out of me is what you're going to get. Now, do I love my daddy? Yeah, but do I respect him? No. So that's why I can be, I, I have both, I feel like both I can I can relate to Darion and then I can relate to Kurt Franklin too. But yeah, that's my point. Mama, the mama wig was a little cricket and it was pushed back a little bit on the on the on the v, on the video. But I mean if you miss X Franklin, why your wigs look like that? Like you need to straighten them up. Go ahead, Kate. Miss Franklin, she's just a baby mama. Baby mama, when you ain't got child support, hello, stupid. <laughs> Well, let me say this: Kurt Franklin's not a a, a, a pastor. Oh, Look at him preaching. Same thing: preacher, pastor. He's, I mean, he's he's come out and he said, you know, that he's had a, you know, I don't even think he he's a he's a, he's not a pastor. He's just you know he's a he's a, he's a minister. He's a minister of the gospel. Yeah, I mean, and, and yeah. minister, ministers well, have the power too. What's the difference? But I, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't ever want to dismiss anybody's um, ministry because we all have something we're struggling with. So that's, it's 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 not it's not it's not really uh, up to us to say who has a calling, who who has oil, you know, um, because everybody has something they're struggling with, you know. Um, mm -hmm. At the end, at the end of at the end of the day, at the end of the day. I, I I listen. This was a a lesson for me because, you know, it's best to wait, and I know better because I know what happened when I kind of fell for the Jersey Smollett situation, <laughs> and it's best <laughs> it's best to wait, y'all, until everything comes out. And I know, give it five days, sometimes even given a week, that you need to wait before you just go out there. I was so angry and so mad at the. The hypocrisy in the black church. That's why I went out and made my statement about, you know, how the church was treating Kirk. Because it, it just kills me that you got people running around here with dick on their breath, coming out the Super 8 at 2 o'clock in the morning, talking about Kirk Franklin. So that's why I did all the posts that I did. But sitting back now, and the blogger that released the video, he's the equivalent of the National Enquirer or media takeout. So it's not like Barbara Walters released this audio, but yeah. we're going to go ahead and take it with a grain of salt and just say, you know, that was carry on, possibly. Here's the deal. Moving forward, I think we need to really pause and wait and see what the motherfucking walls look like before we start Thank you, Ms. Seeley. Thank you. giving all of these, you know, dissertations. And I'm speaking to myself because I did it. I, I I just I went to Kirk's defense because that was the go to thing because I was mad at the black church jumping on him the way they did. But when I think about it, like Thais, bitch, you knew what happened with you and Jesse Smollett. 
I thought Jussie Smollett was innocent. I did. <laughs> Kyrie can tell you, I went to bat for Jussie Smollett. I was out in the street with bats. People was throwing tomatoes and shit at me. And, and the shit came back and, and it was egg in my face with Jussie. Lord. So I, I know better. I know you need to wait sometimes and see what the fuck is happening because Kurt mm -hmm. Franklin in January just did a video talking about he went to his therapist and his therapist told him, you know, you need to address some things okay. and you got to you got to address some things that's going on in your in your family and in the church and then that that whole video just disappeared and the query to me is like, well, was Carry On threatening him at that time and he was trying to pad the blow, you know, I, that's how I'm thinking. At the end of the day, y'all, we need to really be mindful to hear it all out and, and get the whole damn story before we rush to judgment. Because Carry On may be a Carry On may be a disgruntled child. You know, because he talks a lot about his mixtape and his and his rapping career that ain't going nowhere. So he may be a disgruntled child that just wants an endless motherfucking bank account. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we all know Kurt was on Oprah talking about he had a porn addiction. He used to stroke his mm -hmm. dick three, four times a day and watch and make Tammy watch him stroke his dick. You know, so you have to put a lot of shit together, put the puzzles together and then just wait and see what the shit look like once it all comes together. That's all I'm encouraging everybody to do. I'm not saying the man. I'm not saying the man molested his son. I'm not saying he's not. What I'm saying is as black people, we really need to move away from what happens in this house, stays in this house, be quiet, shut up, don't say nothing. That's why everybody's so fucked up now. Exactly. That's why everybody is so fucked up right now. What happens in this house stays in this house. Why? If some shit happened to me, my family already know. If some shit happened to me, I'm going to talk about it. I'm gonna let everybody know what the fuck happened to me. That's why you have so many gay people mm -hmm. and gay men running around here with motherfucking identity complexes, talking about they bisexual and talking about, you know, I don't fuck around. Because nobody has taken the time out to talk to them and get to know what they're going through and what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. But I, I have a question. Nobody wants to talk to nobody. And you got grown ass men running around here with booties that look like they've been tampered with talking about they bisexual. You know, or I, I'm not gay. I don't really fuck around. Girl, we can smell the cum on your breath. <laughs> so, look, at the end of the day, y'all, at the end of the day, I'm a wait. I'm, a do, I'm doing a wait and see approach like I'm doing with this motherfucking vaccine. I'm going to see what the fuck happens. <laughs> Because Tamron Hall, that didn't satisfy me uh, over there on Tamron Hall. Auntie, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, oh girl, I'm gonna throw this to my brother King Jives. Oh, here somebody said, but he, was, but he was molested by someone in the church, and he told his parents that they did nothing about it. In some circles, they would be just as guilty as the perpetrator. I said, if, if they didn't do nothing, they didn't believe him. I was yeah. So I have a question. So today I, I talked with Thais a little bit and then I was talking to Miko on my way here on the road and uh, we laughed a little bit about it and, you know, joked around. But the seriousness of it is this, you know, especially because Kyrie always talk about, I mean, not Kyrie, but uh, Thais always talk about this white man every time he talks about James Cleveland. <laughs> but, but the fact of the matter is this. And that is, do I believe that something happened? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I believe that he is, that Kurt Franklin possibly molested his son? That's a little bit of a stretch for me. But I'm going to start mm -hmm. from the beginning. When I first saw this, and I didn't see this from that non-factors page, but I saw this on YouTube and I just said to myself, Who you at? don't worry about the it. The non-factor. I've been mm -hmm. carry on. I'm going to go ahead and admit it. I've been carry on. My mother has three boys. My, my I'm my father's only child. 
when my father married um, my step my my stepmother, well, was stepmother, she had three children as well. My father was raising those kids. Mm -hmm. I felt some type of way. Yep. Also, and my mom made me feel some type of way because she said, "Yo, daddy needed it. again." My mother and my father were young when they had me, 16. Yo, daddy can take care of you just like he take care of them children over there. How you going? So again, I've been carry on, okay? So, you know, I felt some type of way. But when I got older, yo, I'm, th I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm 35 right now. When I got older and, you know, me and my father began to talk more, you know, I begin to think differently because, again, my father is not in the household with me. So here's what's going on. He has to pay child support for me, and he has to take care of those three children and that wife and that household over there. So, again, I'm sending you child support, and I have to take care of this household here. I'm doing the best that I can with what I have, okay? I understand it and I get it. Now, with that being said, I think it goes a little far when you act like, you know, oh, you ain't did this for me. Oh, you dead to me, nigga, da, 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 da. So I start doing outlandish things because the mama said, oh, he feels abandoned. Well, here's the thing. When you're young and have sex, and you bring children into the world, this sometime is what happened. You don't give that child that you had when you were younger, and now you didn't got married and got older. You don't give that child all the attention that they want and need because you got older and grown up, and now you're doing your thing, trying to be more responsible. But again, we have to look at the bigger picture, and you have to take care of everything. A lot of times as parents, we don't do the right thing. OK, and we try to sit up out here and and do this, take care of this. And we miss the ball in some places. But now that this man, this boy is out here and putting stuff out, alleging that this man has molested him. Let me tell you all something. I don't I don't necessarily believe Kurt Franklin molested him. But like my auntie said down here in these comments, I believe something happened with carry on. And Kurt found out about it and didn't say nothing. And because Kurt Franklin is a gatekeeper in the gospel music industry, y'all, y'all go hit that cash because I'm gonna work this thing. My third eye is on bing, 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 bing. Um, third uh, Kurt Franklin is a gatekeeper in the gospel music industry. I think honestly, this is me honestly, I think one of Kurt Franklin's friends touched that boy, and that's the reason why he's saying that. Because mm -hmm. he said, you don't want me to put all this information out here. You don't want me to put all this information out here. I think Kurt Franklin know what happened. And if you watch mm -hmm. Kurt Franklin, Kurt Franklin's whole face. Yeah. When he Kurt was Franklin's there. whole face is just like, man, like I didn't fuck up. Like I wish I could fix this, but I can't. I wish I could say something, but I cannot. And, and carry on is real pissed about it. But let me tell you something. If you're going to be mad at anybody, be mad at the person who did it. Don't make your dad the victim or the, 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 the target because he ain't saying, again, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, there is something going on deeper and we don't understand it. Everybody out here talking about, uh, uh, oh, 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 Kurt Franklin, he's a molester. Y'all got to look at what's not being said. Carry right. on is he throwing some darts at his daddy and like, hey, nigga, you need to say something. You need It's nonverbal communication. It right. is throwing darts saying you need to speak up for me because you know about what happened to me and you're not going to say nothing. So I'm going to keep attacking you. I'm going to keep egging you on. I'm going to keep egging you on. I'm going to keep until you say something. So again, I feel like, I feel like at the end of the day, Kirk knows something that happened. Yeah. 
I, mean, I feel like happened? he knows something happened. And and because, again, I, he, I believe he had his son with him because we see him all in the pictures and stuff. But again, we know how the gospel music industry is. We grew up in this thing. Almost all of us on this panel right now are church men. We grew up in the church. And we know how we know how the gospel music industry is. We know how the church music industry is. Tice talk about the white man all the time. And James Cleveland with the big old meat all the time and carrying on. This stuff goes on. This it's stuff goes me. on in the church. And some people, like Carry On, is not going to sit back quiet. And some people, when things happen to them, they get deranged and they lose their mind. And they really need somebody to talk to them, not to shut them up, but to figure out what's going on. Kirk Franklin said they've been in, in, in therapy for 30 years. Nigga, what have you been doing for 30 years? Because your son is really bothered. Hey, listen. He's bothered exactly. I mean, all the way. And, 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 and the thing and the, and the thing is, Jobs, where the conflict comes in with Kirk is because here's why Kirk is so conflicted. That person is very powerful. That person is either a very well-known pastor or a very well-known singer or musician. And you probably got a lot of songs with this person. You probably done a lot of business with this person. And if this comes out, it's going to blow up the whole gospel community as we know it, the religious world as we know it. So that may be the reason why Kurt is so conflicted because 30 years of therapy is like, girl, y'all are going up here and ain't nobody really saying nothing when y'all go up here to the little therapist lady because Iana would have broke this shit open in the one episode. Period. I, I, that's what they need, Iana. They need Iana. I, I, I feel like this also, that is that if people really truly understood the church world, y'all would shut the fuck up trying to beat up on Kirk, trying to beat up on Carry On. Mm -hmm. This nasty shit has been going on, especially in the black community, for God knows how long. It, mm -hmm. it, it never ceases to amaze me that black people love to shut up the victim and say, you a lie, you the devil. Well, bitch, you weren't there when that person was fucking me and I was three years old. So how the fuck am I the motherfucking devil? Bitch, you can kiss my ass and suck my toes, bitch. You can get the fuck up out of my face. Now, I'm not a victim of molestation, but bitch, I'm a goddamn advocate. You don't sit up out here and tell somebody that they need to shut the fuck up. They need to be quiet. You got a demon in you, bitch. That motherfucker who put that dick on me was a motherfucking demon. Hmm. I don't see y'all saying that shit. Mm -mm. You wasn't saying that shit when the pastor had had your son bent over in the back 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 baptism pool. Bitch, you didn't say that shit when they had him back mm -mm. in the choir room and stuff. Mm. So he's always talking you about know what? You know what? You know what, Jais? You've given me a little freedom tonight. You've given me a little freedom, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. If the white man, if the white man kidnapped me, <laughs> so be it. So be it. Y'all put a, 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 a some posters out for me. Put an APB out. Yeah, we'll put APB whatever. Out. But my friend told me concerning James Cleveland, allegedly, mm -hmm. that allegedly. he was walking, he allegedly, he was walking home from school and he turned right on Crenshaw and he made that right on Stalker. He was going to Audubon Middle School. My friend ain't got to lie. I know my friend very well. He don't have to lie. He would make up no shit like this. He said he seen James Cleveland circle the block. And by the time he got to that next block, which was Degnan, he said he saw James Cleveland pull to the right. And he looked in the car and James Cleveland had his big ass black dick out hanging out, stroking it. A big greasy black dick stroking it. Allegedly. So, that being said, this has been going on since the 70s and the 80s. Now, if y'all don't, don't see me no more after tonight, y'all look, look for me. Please don't let these people put a pillowcase over my head and take me down the road. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go from what, what, uh, what Thais is saying. Because, again... Y'all, this stuff goes on in the church. Now, I don't know why Carrie Young wanted to wait 
all these many years to talk about, to say he's been touched, he's been molested, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to tell y'all something. This stuff goes on in the church, in the gospel music industry, and all this stuff like that. Y'all got to stop telling people and calling people liars and fakes. This stuff goes on for real. Now, listen, again, I'm not taking up in per se for carry on saying he's all right. Because, bitch, I'm going to tell you something. I wish the fuck I would cuss my mother out like that, bitch. I'll be. Bitch, you lost your guy. I'm a grown ass man. You know what I mean? But one thing you're not going to do is disrespect your motherfucking parent. I don't give a fuck how mad. I don't give a fuck how mad you are. But he did. But okay, Jazz. But what did he cuss? What did Carry On cuss? Because I still. Everybody keeps saying he disrespected Kirk. Where? Okay. So, cuss so, now. so, so, Kyrie, we may not have seen the disrespect because only thing that Carry On is doing is showing Kirk. You right. get what I'm saying? So, like, right. To me, my brother's like that. Let me, let me just say that. My brother's like that. My brother likes to play the victim. Bitch, you out here doing fucked up bullshit and can on. You got a fucked up life and can on. And you think everything that happened in your damn life is everybody's motherfucking problem except yours. Bitch, you done had all these motherfucking children and it's everybody's motherfucking fault. And it's everybody's responsibility to take care of your goddamn kids except yours. So you can go out here and lay the fuck up, lay up, do everything like that, and everybody else got to take care of your kids except you. Bitch, kiss my asshole. <laughs> Bitch, you better sit up here and take care of your responsibilities. You a grown-ass motherfucking man, and ain't nobody going to motherfucking feel sorry for you. Now, as far as that this child go, some of these kids feel like because they didn't get something in their life, you are responsible to fill that void. You are responsible. This is absolutely crazy. I uh, let me tell you something. Everybody don't have this mindset, and I get it. I'm 35 years old. My father was not always there for me. Pretty much, he wasn't there a lot for me. But I had to grow the fuck up. I had to become a man with or without my dad. See, a lot of people try to say. Oh, right. because you was raised around women. That's why you gay. Bitch, no. That is not. That is not the case. Period. It is just what it is, bitch. I wasn't touched. I wasn't molested. I wasn't raped. I just happened to like what mm -hmm. I like. Baby, just mm -hmm. come lately. Didn't come over my house and run nothing up in me. I didn't run nothing up in nobody. Bitch, I was a virgin until I was 23, 24, 24 motherfucking years old. Bitch, Ooh, I knew what I liked a long mama. time ago. Kiss Ooh, my ass. Yeah, I was late. You was you was a virgin oh, at what age? Yes, whole till I twenty four. Was a, I was a virgin until I was twenty three, twenty four. Oh, you, right. was you was a late bloomer. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, even, I don't even remember, even remember he virginity. Was late. If he I'm, was, I'm say if he family, was, uh, even, my, if, fam, my family covered and protected us. It it just wasn't going down like that. But I want to address. I want to address. I want to address. I want to address the person. I want to address the person that just inboxed me on my page oh, and my uh, filter. I want to address the person that just inboxed me on my, on my page and my filter messages. Let me explain something to you, bitch. <laughs> okay. First of all, girl, let me explain something to you, <laughs> girl. Listen, if you were not there, Thais, that could be considered hearsay. Listen, bitch, I didn't have to be there. Okay. Don't come in my motherfucking inbox with these motherfucking questions, bitch. Who are you? Are you working with the feds? I, I know you're doing. <laughs> but I will say that the job. No, Kyrie, baby, don't don't okay. interrupt me when I'm when I'm checking somebody. I can't okay, read. Girl, don't interrupt me, mom. Don't don't break through like that when I'm interrupt. Don't, don't do me like that. I'm Hold sorry. on, Kyrie. Uh, you fifty. I'm forty nine. Hold on. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. Damn. <laughs> God is in the holy temple. I see Ooh, things. See. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, God, lady. You doing the pictures, bro? Listen, let me explain something to you. You don't ask me no motherfucking questions, bitch. I didn't have to be. I didn't have to be there. <laughs> 
And I'm not worried about no motherfucking. I'm not worried about no motherfucking white van kidnapping me. Hey, bitch, I'm a hood bitch. For that white van. <laughs> right. If I no motherfucking white van, no brown van kidnapping me, I'm a hood bitch. <laughs> Jai's playing with these girl look. Jai's on some bullshit right now. You don't, you don't come in my inbox asking me no motherfucking questions, bitch. <laughs> come on, boy. If you were not there, if you were not there, then that baby here and say, fuck you. <laughs> Stop sizzling. <laughs> no motherfucking questions, bitch. Do you know who I am? Ask me no motherfucking questions. Oh, okay, Kyrie. <laughs> oh my. Kyrie, take it. Kyrie, take it from the top. Oh my god. I was at a job. Oh my god. I was a he did, but if if he could be hurting because if somebody did touch him and he told his daddy. Cause his mama, because I didn't, I didn't know until this morning what it was. But when she on that video I watched last night, she kept saying, "Well, if someone touched you, you should go to the police." She said, I kept telling him to go to the police. So I don't know. So somebody did. He told them, but nobody did nothing. So that's probably why he's hurting. Because if you I better tell, not tell daddy, nobody, but you better not tell nobody. But God, yeah. you almost killed your tell family. Right. So if he told him, if he told Kirk, and Kirk didn't do anything, because like you said, guys, it's probably somebody with some power. And Kirk is doing Kirk is doing this. My career, my son. My exactly. Career, my son. Exactly. So yeah, so, and that's why probably why he's acting unhurt. That's, that's what it feel like. But I, but I, I totally agree with Thais. Now Thais said, "Let's wait." Stop. So, yeah. Stop. So before I say anything else, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So, that's so listen, I'm, but listen, carry on. Ooh. Carry on is talking about this motherfucking mixtape a little too much. Girl, you're right. I'm rapper. telling you, it's 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 a mixture of I want attention, but something really did happen to me. But bitch, I'm trying to blow up at the same time. Let me tell you something, niece. You ain't gonna blow the fuck up like this because both y'all gonna nah. go down. Yeah, and burn. Yeah, this ain't it. Because yeah, I heard a, I heard a couple of your tracks carry on. Your your music is trash. Okay, the shit is boo boo. <laughs> mm -mm. I heard your I heard a couple of your tracks. The shit's gonna go double aluminum foil, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord, not double oh Lord, your shit gonna go triple copper. Contact Iyanla and get you some healing. Do you oh, know God. Denise Clark? Contact Denise Clark. She'll lead you to healing. What well, do you think? <laughs> Well, I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see the interview. You know, I'm waiting to see who's going to give Carry On an opportunity. Carry On, come on over here to the King Jive Show. I will gladly give you the mic, sir. Don't do that. We're gonna get. We're gonna get some healing. All right, I'll Tamron Hall. Tamron Hall, with your limit headed ass, you could ask some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> with your with your motherfucking uh, banana peeler head ass, you could ask some damn questions, Tamron. Ooh. Shit, <laughs> you 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 go too soft on people, Tamron. You went soft on uh, Andrew um, Gilliam yeah. and the and Gilliam. the doo doo sheets. You yeah. know, <laughs> leave 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 Drew alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh. What do y'all think that was on them white sheets? Oxtail baby. gravy? I know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby. It was exactly what you said it was, baby. What y'all? What did people think the it children, was? The children said it was throw up. Baby, please. That was <laughs> dookie. His butt threw up. That's what it was. His butt threw As, up. Like T.S. Madison oh, said. T.S. Madison said, them sheets going to be filled with dookie. <laughs> well, how, well, how y'all how know it was Andrew and not the other guy? Andrew, I can listen, listen. I can look at somebody. I can look at somebody and tell if they're a bottom. I can tell by look. I can tell every one of the people on here. I can look at them and tell their what their orientation really? is. The, yes, yeah. Andrew Gilliam is a versatile bottom. You know what? I could I could tell some. I can look at everybody on here and tell you. I can look on here and tell you everybody on here what they position is. Please go down the line. Please, I'm not please do go that. down the line. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what everybody on here is. 
But I'm not gonna do that tonight. I can tell you, I can tell you exactly what everybody on here, all six people. What the, what they position is. What not gonna do. You you have the mic. I would like to you know. No, you I really want to hear this. I really want to hear you this. Huh? Look, this E and Jade is hit. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what's talk. That's what that's what's doing. Look, that's y'all go on because this will turn it. Uh-uh. This will turn into something totally different. They just turn the tires at the dark. <laughs> But I know, I know oh, everybody oh, position. Oh, sorry, sorry, every person on here, I know what your position is. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Kyrie, I'm gonna be just Kyrie, like you. you Kyrie, you will take a Kyrie will take a 13 inch dick with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie ain't no goddamn top. You got no motherfucking top, Kyrie. Shit. <laughs> you will eat a dick out. <laughs> I'm talking about, no, you don't. You're my sister. I know what's going on over there in Cincinnati. I know what's going on in Cincinnati. Shit. <laughs> London will ride a dick like a frog. That's my little brother. That's my little brother. I know he rides that dick. I know London rides his husband's dick. I know he do. <laughs> Ooh, like man. Daisy Duke on the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> keep going. Uh-uh, keep going. Nah, man. I'm done. I'm done. Uh-uh. I'm done. You got to stop right that. Uh-uh. Yeah. You stop that. No, go. Now, what is Jay? Uh, huh? Yeah, you got what, What's Jay? I'm done. I don't want to keep going. I'm old. I'm done. Let's go to- I'm oh, done. I can't wait to this. I can't wait to the after show. Bitch, I'm, I'm done. I'm full cool with it. I'm going to get you. No, I'm London, I know you. London, I know you got some acrobatics. You my little nephew. Yeah. You my little bro. You love, you my little bro. I know I mean, you got acrobatics. You got, I mean, there's an London, Olympic. London, there's an Olympic. Uh, London, there's an Olympic spirit in you. There's an Olympic spirit in you. Gymnastics. <laughs> Wait a minute, London. I, I can't. I couldn't agree with you more. Hmm. London. Uh, some somebody just sent me something. I want to know why you didn't have this on the docket. So a Connecticut bank teller refused to give black woman her money from her account because she said, "quote I just don't feel comfortable giving it to you." I would have beat that bitch to death in that bank. I, <laughs> I would have beat her motherfucking brains out in that bank. Wait, I'm I'm I remember, I'm, 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 I'm y'all. I remember that, but. I think I that was like last about two years ago, right? Well, oh, I don't know. Somebody just sent it to me now. Oh, if I'm going to the, if I'm going to go to the feds, bitch, I'm going to go to the feds for giving you a well whooped ass. Oh no, 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 how about this bank? T- how about this? Uh, how, how about this bank teller lady, girl? You get off at five, girl. Just meet me in the parking lot, mama. It's I will talk to you about something. You. Girl, just it's come outside. Girl. Run me my money today. Come outside, mama. Baby, if she told Ty East that I would die. Girl, girl come bad. outside, girl. I'm a uh, five thirty or five Wait. o'clock. Which one is it, girl? <laughs> girl, which one is it, mama? Okay, this is what we gonna this this what we gonna do. So I'm gonna land this plane real quick. Uh, uh, little little here white lady. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell your stupid ass, ugly ass, oh, see, ass. Oh, here we go. Bitch, you know what I'm saying? You spent a whole my motherfucking money, bitch. And I, I had my heart on taxes taking out this motherfucker. And you got Corona and COVID and Karisha and Kareem and all this shit going on, bitch. You got me fucked up, old puss ass. So run me out that aggressive concrete, bitch. My, I'm fun. So her, stim- her stimulus check hit the bank. Her stimulus check hit, bitch. I don't give a so, fuck if I got a dollar in that motherfucking account, bitch. If I say to take out my money, bitch, that's what the fuck I mean. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to walk back in that bank like this. <laughs> Me. Girl. I'm going to tell you one get that Listen. <laughs> bitch, you better go in my motherfucking account and run that $19,000. <laughs> <My> <laughs> I'm going to tell, well, tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time, ladies. Listen, listen. 
Let me explain something to you, bitch. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Let me explain something to you, lady. It's a it's a two eleven. Don't make it a one eighty seven. Ooh, but this, this is what I understand. Is a big black man in front of me trying to. Uh, um, I need, I need a system. Like, Here's my ID, bitch. If you don't go get that but motherfucking man, she said, woman gave her her ID. She's gonna be a goddamn just, problem. I just don't feel comfortable giving it to you, ma'am. So you, ma you gonna feel more? Nah, nah. I'm gonna tell you like nah, this. Said, if you don't go get your manager right me. now. The I'm going to call the police. Man, they didn't call I, the uh -uh. I'm fucking I am a white fucking. woman in America. They didn't call the news. <laughs> you better go get you better. I don't give a fuck. Ma'am. Ma I'm going to beat the I, fuck out I, this bitch. But, <laughs> but I'm laughing. I don't I'm going to see Tyson. Because Tyson talks about the stimulus check. And if they say Tyson, you can't get it. I'm mad. I ain't got mine yet. Jives. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Jives. Uh, come on, come on up. I here. have a question. I have a question for you, Jives. Oh Lord. You're, you're the teller, Jives. You're the teller. I'm gonna ask you what that lady asked Vivica Fox and set it off, Jives. What's <laughs> the procedure? What's the procedure when somebody come in and put a gun to your head, Jives? What's the procedure? I know the procedure is you killed in the head seven thousand times. I know the procedure. I if know. somebody come in the motherfucking bank and put a gun in my motherfucking head and tell me which way to the safe, I'm gonna guide their ass to the back like we on Fantasy <laughs> Island. It's this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's this way, sir. Come on. The plane, the plane. Come on. <laughs> Run that right here. <sighs> Baby. She's talking about, I ain't did we cover every? Did we cover everything, y'all? Yeah. Did we yeah. cover everything? Yep. Carry on with the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we do this, y'all? Can we do one. this? Can we do this before we go? Can we? Can can, can we do? Um, it don't have to be a black movie, but can we do a line from a movie? Your favorite movie? Can you reenact the movie just really quickly? Whatever okay. your movie is. Let's do that, okay? Just say a line, okay? Just say a line or your favorite part from any movie. Just do it. You pretend like the Academy Awards is God. You pretend like the Academy Awards is watching. You better not tell nobody but God. It'll kill your mama. Oh, Carrie, nice. go. <laughs> um, I know my favorite. Well, we can all be some fighting motherfuckers up in here this evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Movie. My favorite. Jay, you must be crazy to pull your gun on me. Oh, now, Jay. now you're gonna be in my pinky toe. I'm still <laughs> thinking, I'm really thinking. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking. Like, I ain't got one yet. London, you gonna do one, London? Yeah, I'm gonna do one. Yeah, do, do it. it. I want to go last. Oh, you gonna do it? <laughs> Yeah, I want to go last. Man, 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 fuck that man. The family, fuck my husband. Faith, fuck my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, and Vanessa was not playing with that butcher knife. Okay, Darius, have you decided? <laughs> um, she got around that goddamn kitchen counter so big with that knife, boy. I was like, oh, damn, I ain't know Vanessa. Okay, Darius, like well, let me go on and I got this. Darius, do you watch movies? I do. I just couldn't think of. I couldn't think of a line. I'm just okay. Well, let me do this. I'm gonna be Margaret Wright, Margaret White from Carrie. That's Carrie Mama. Okay, are you ready, <laughs> Kyrie? You know, you know, Kyrie. You know, Margaret Wright. That's Carrie Mama. Me and you in the same age bracket, uh, Kyrie. I think okay, I know I'm a gonna... line. You, I think I know a line you're gonna do too. Go ahead. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Margaret Wright. That's Carrie Mama for the movie Carrie, 1976, the year I was born. What you gonna do? Mm -hmm. I should have never let him put it in me, <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. I can smell. I can smell the Roadhouse whiskey on his breath. And he took me, and he took me, he put it up in me, and I liked it. I liked it. Okay, that's, 
I can smell the room. I can smell the roadhouse of whiskey oh on his breath. <laughs> and he oh took me. God, he took me. And and I, 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 it. I was acting okay. so bad, Mama. He must have really threw that dick up in you, girl. Damn, oh, Margaret. <laughs> What was you playing, Please, Margaret? Was you playing with your pussy during that scene? Damn, <laughs> Margaret. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, everybody, conversation. Okay, on, this, I'll, uh, on Thursday, uh, join me in my show, uh, Candy Conversations, where these guys, the Kings, will be on my. They'll be special guests on my show, and the title of the show is Homosexuality Delivered or Not. The so come oh. on Thursday. May the God. Did y'all watch that video though? Did y'all watch that video though? What, what video? video? Um, uh, I sent it over to Josh. Um, uh, of 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 Mr. Delivered on. Oh, uh, and Milan Christopher. Yes, Milan. Yes, 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 yes. Baby, Milan ate that's, him that's, up. That's that's an after show. Listen, oh. let me explain something to y'all. Let me let me drop this. We, we 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 didn't put it on the we didn't put it on the uh, docket tonight, but Tamir Rice's mother is letting the civil rights community have it. She Baby. was on the Clay she was on the Clay Kane show, and she laid out Ben Clump, Tamika Mallory. She called them ambulance chasers, cloud <laughs> chasers. She laid everybody the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> I need to see Listen, I need to why she made out Tamika though. Why did she lay out Tamika? I don't she, to watch she, she, she brought Tamika because Tamika was at the Grammys doing a spoken word during a little baby song. And she's oh. down. At, listen, it's a lot. It's a lot going on, y'all. We may have to bullet point that for next Friday night. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go watch okay. So we can wait, we can wait for that next week. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch that. Okay. Listen, I, I'm I'm very uh, tired. Ty, I'm gonna let you do the offering call after I get through with this. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm gonna let Ty y'all get your offerings ready. I'm gonna let Ty do this, but I want to say this real quick. Um, to everybody that's on today, thank y'all so much. Um, our special guest today is Darius. He is from my neck of the woods down here. Well, he's from London and Eyes. Neck of the woods. He is from um, I ain't gonna say where, but mm -hmm. he's from Florida. Okay. Uh Darius is an HIV and AIDS Trample. program manager at Florida Department of Health in Pinellas County, Florida. Darius is also the host of Spill Talk Show each and every Wednesday on Power Plug TV. Um, I invited him because uh he's like myself, he is an advocate um for AIDS and HIV. Um, he's also an advocate for the community and things like that. And there are people like ourselves that are really working hard in the community and really trying to help people. And we do our best to help people, even though sometimes people don't do their best to help themselves. Hmm. Uh, we work so hard that sometimes people don't get the credit. And so I just want to take this opportunity to say, you know, we appreciate people like Darius that do the work because a lot of people want the credit. But they don't do the work, and so we appreciate you, Darius. We really thank do. You. Thank you for taking thank the time you. out today to come on the show to sit thank on you. here with our crazy behinds. Okay, to sit on here with our can crazy I, butts. Can I say um, I am a fan of of each and every one of you all on here, and so this has been um, in, incredible for me tonight to be a part of this and and to be on here. So I, I'm. You know, this is something I, I'm going to remember. Um, I've had fun tonight. And yeah. thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. We had fun too. Tears. So you ain't got no damn tears, tears on your damn chin. I just want him to do my voicemail. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what year are you in? You're going to do your voicemail. Hello, you have reached the personal voicemail of Justin Grant. <laughs> Hit me up. I'll do it for you. Okay. So listen, you all, please make sure you all, thank you all. Make sure you all support us. Hit that cash app. Send a cash app. Send a donation. Send a thank you note or something. And just, you know, be a supporter of the channel. Uh, we are all doing something out here. And I believe that people like us uh, we are going. We are being watched, and we're going to be noticed, and we're going to have that opportunity one day to take this thing to another level. You know, I, I, I was 
given this little vision a long time ago, and I just really wanted to help other people to do what we do. And this show may not be 5,000, 2,000, but you know what? People come here every Friday. People come here every mm -hmm. Friday to hear our goofy, crazy ass. And this show is not about competition. This show is not about competing with one another. We ain't nobody trying to be like this. You know, we all do have different opinions on this here show right here. We all have different opinions. And sometimes some of our opinions will piss each other's off. But that's okay. This is the purpose of us. We are grown ass men. And if we can't talk this shit out, bitch, we don't need to be doing this shit. Okay? We grown people. Amen. And that's why I appreciate all of this is because, like, there are problems right now. <laughs> there are problems right now. Some people take things different ways, and some people, like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and just put, put it on out here, Justin. Justin feels some type of way because he thinks Thais is being rude to him, and every time he talk, Thais shut his, his camera off. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so the, thing is, the thing is, it's like I want, I want Justin and Thais to talk because I don't think that there's an issue, but I'm going to tell you like this. Thais is a person who feels certain ways about certain things. Somebody could say something and it could trigger him or rub him the wrong way. Don't give him no excuse, hey. but I think we just need to talk. That's all. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Can we talk for a minute? For a minute. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, everybody, for all the excellent critiques and all the excellent messages um, in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Oh, we lo I love y'all too. Well, we love you too, Anthony. We love you too. Okay, so you know, um, I... listen. Here's the deal: ninety million people received fourteen hundred dollars. Uncle Joe already released the numbers. So, uh, bless King Jives. Bless the people that are here tonight and Amen. their respective cash apps. You got the money, okay? You got the change. <laughs> Um, so, but, you know, primarily bless the, the, the person whose platform this is, look out for the four Kings. Um, somebody sent me some cash. Uh, a couple of people sent me some cash already. I thank mm -hmm. you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. Here's the deal. Um, I am in rare form right now and I feel like being messy. So I really? want y'all to come over to the tight mm -hmm. support. I want y'all to come over to the Thais support right now. Mm. I feel like being messy. I can't break. Okay. I'm, I'm Thais, on the way. I want y'all to come over to the Thais support. I feel like being messy. I feel like just, just being messy. Thais. Come over to the Thais support right now. Thais Jackson on Facebook. Thais. That's an E&J. That's an E&J talk. I, can't I feel like being messy. Thais. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it alone. Um, oh, you want to be okay? Wait, 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 wait. You want to be the address? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You want to be the address? I I turn my camera off. I turn my camera off if I'm doing hold too on, much. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell you, gotta explain yourself why he turned his. I don't, off. I don't. But I turn my camera off. I turn my camera off when well, I'm girl, doing too. I'm gonna need you to shut your mouth. And let if I'm run, doing too run, much, run if I'm doing too much movement. With my hands like this, I don't want to be doing this like this. So I'll turn my camera off if I gotta read a long message. It's nothing personal. If I didn't like Justin, if I didn't like Justin, I'm being honest with y'all. I'm at a place in my life. If I didn't like Justin, or if I didn't have, if I had an issue with anybody, I would come. I wouldn't show up. I'm here <laughs> because I want to be here. You know, um, was the chemistry different with me, you, London, and? Kyrie, yeah, but you know we're learning. It's 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 a new chemistry, and we're learning it. And it's like growing pains, and we have to get used to the new chemistry. You know, you know, we we'll, first, it, it we takes first. a while. It don't happen overnight. Listen, the Supremes went through seven, eight lineups before they disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's nothing personal. I have nothing against nobody. 
I have nothing against anybody. You, you know, when we, first, when we first started the show, um, London would always say slick shit towards towards Ty Tyrese. Yeah, always. he did. London said always. slick shit to everybody. Oh, I, yeah, but he, he was a little. All of us. You know, he, I don't know what it was. I think I think London was just. I think London was just territorial, and for a long time it was him and it was him and King Jives. And here come these two bitches, you, me and you. You know, <laughs> so I think that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. Right. <laughs> that's not what it was. Oh, mm -hmm. what it was then? Here come these bitches right. coming in. Here come um the weather girls. You know. Right. Oh, that's what that child said about us because we talked about his pastor. He called me King Jives and the weather girls. Who did? <laughs> then when I talked about <laughs> Pastor Cort Cort Cortez Jones. Mm hmm. He got mad because he said you and and them weather girls. <laughs> but well, but yeah. no, I I just wanted to bring it up because again, I just think you know what I'm saying we are we have a great chemistry, and you know I rather for you know everybody to know how we yeah, and, how and so people through. don't have to speculate and people don't have to guess. I feel you on that, Jobs. So to, so next week. If I'm not available, because I do have something coming up on the 26th. If I'm not available, um, what's his name? Jay, you can fill in for me next week. On the 26th? On no, the 26th. Jay. You mean yeah, Jay? You don't be here anyway. You mean no, Jay? No, what I'm saying is that you can take my spot on hey, the on you next know, week. You know, Darius or Jay? Jay gonna be here. I'm sorry, uh, Jay. I'm sorry, Jay. Yeah, Jay. Yeah. Darius. You can just take Jai. No, you Jay. Darius. Like you know what? It, it'll be Darius is not gonna be here, right? Right. Okay, so it'll be Jives, Kyrie, London, and Jay. Yeah, Jay, yeah. you can fill in for me <laughs> because everybody else. Listen, I'm not crazy. Everybody <laughs> else, everybody else will be original for Kings. Oh, Jay can God, take bro. Jay can take my spot for the night. <laughs> oh, Jay can be Gene Terrell. <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm a, I'm a count it to the E and J bro. right now. I'm just gonna count. No, count listen, listen. The 26th, I do <laughs> have something. I do have something very important I have to do. Man. Listen, that's Aretha Franklin's birthday weekend. Listen, oh, no. okay. Let me explain you something to y'all. What I'm saying to y'all is this: London. Jives and Kyrie are original for Kings. If I'm not here, Jay can take my spot for the night. That's all oh, I'm saying. Oh, oh, Jay gonna do like the Cindy Bird song used to do with Florence Ballard when Florence didn't show up. There. Listen, remember, remember, remember Kyrie when the emotions when 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 um Jeanette was always all fucking earth, wind, and fire. Right, and, and they brought in Pam. And they brought in Pam. Yeah, that's all. Hey, oh, there's a Pam. And then Pam, Pam, and then Pam became, and then Pam became a regular. After a while, they said, "Fuck this shit, Pam." And then Jacob, you know, listen, he'll become a regular, a regular <laughs> for King. I don't know what y'all on tonight. Y'all, y'all misreading what I'm talking about. I'm probably so gonna be cool. here. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Let let the church say Amen, man. In this show, bro. Amen. Listen, no, 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 because I don't want people to think I'm not saying nothing. What did I say that was that make people think that I'm saying something wrong? If I say <laughs> Jay can feel it for type, me, nothing. Jay can. Okay, uh -uh. you know what? Let's let's, let's take Jay filling in for me. <laughs> Listen, let's just take Jay filling in for me out the uh, equation. Jay. Jay and all Listen, of y'all can have a Ty all of y'all can have a great DJ. night next next Friday. And Who it ain't you going out right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wanna know where Ty's going. I may be out of town handling some business. I may be oh, out of town handling some business. My stimulus may be dropping oh, next week. I may be out of town handling some business. Oh, you're yeah, gonna no. be trade in Detroit. Nah. Oh, no. yes. I, mm -mm. I may be out of town handling some serious business. I well, who just said the papers. band coming? <laughs> I gotta go sign some so sign some documents and i I'll sign some papers. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm signing some documents and contracts and stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Before I go seriously, all jokes aside, I will see everybody on the tight support in about three minutes. But listen, I don't have no ill will against nobody. 
Listen, when I throw shade, you will know it. If I'm reading, you will know it. I don't do subliminal shade. I don't do none of that, mama. If I'm reading you, I will lay you the fuck out. <laughs> you will know it. I don't do subliminal shots, none of that. You know? That's why it irritates me when people do it. Because I don't do it. Now, if I read you, girl, you will be read from amazing grace to a floating opportunity. Okay? <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a really nice person. And I'll see everybody on the Tai support. And Thais Jackson, please hit subscribe. Like hit subscribe and like my brother's page. <laughs> yes. Jive, you're not going to play with me with these people. <laughs> 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 Fuck that anyway. van. Everybody talking about the brown van coming, the white <laughs> van coming. Fuck that van. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck about that motherfucking van. Hey, John Memphis, listen, I love each and every last one of y'all. I love All you. All of the kings, including Darius. He is, he. Well, we're going to have to induct him soon, but um, I can't tell y'all what I'm doing right now. But anyways, I, I, I'm grateful that Darius is here. Uh, we doing something. I can't tell y'all what. Y'all kiss my ass. Um, listen, thank you all for being on tonight from King Jives and the Four Kings and, and, and our new uh, guest, Darius, uh, listen, we love y'all. We appreciate you all. And thank you so much. We will see you all next week.